I had to pause it for a second. Excuse me while I do a thing. Uh, okay, well, it was okay for a second. Or rather, it was off the mark for a second, but now it's okay. Okay, now we can go back to game audio. I don't know how muffled I am. I can kind of see it on the microphone quality down below when this isn't fogging up. But I turned down the game audio, so hopefully... Actually, I just turned down the whole entirety of my desktop's audio, so, well, laptop, but you get what I mean. I turned all that down so that ideally we will be able to uh, hear me because I don't think you can hear me as well today as usual. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Anyway, here we are again. This is really fogging up really fast. I think I'm wearing it incorrectly. Maybe I just need to, like, breathe down when I <laughs> exhale. Well, <laughs> or maybe I just need to not laugh. Like, you have to be very stoic as a plague doctor. Like, hmm, you can't see me frowning, but I'm frowning underneath the mask. I don't know. I just hope everybody can hear me okay, because I feel like it's lower than usual. So we'll wait, uh, if I can see my clock, we'll wait, you know, about another minute and a half and then we'll get started. I don't actually know how long this is going to stay, uh, and by juxtaposition I don't know when how long the webcam is going to stay, because I can't really drink water through this. <laughs> And in addition to that, uh, these have a, a bit of a hard time seeing out of, so, you know. Yeah, oh, it's a plague doctor! Oh, wait, it's me. Yes, it is, in fact, me, instead of... I am not officially licensed, so, yeah. Unfortunately, the hood is uh, improvised as well, because you couldn't order the white mask and the black hood at the same time. You have to order them separate, and the black hood was on back order along with the black mask, so I just said, Okay, white hood it is, I'll just find a, uh, a black sweatshirt that I have, and I'll just make do with that, so. So we'll see how it goes. I don't, I can't see the webcam, to be honest with you, so I hope it looks okay. I hope I'm not blocking any dialogue, uh, and if I am, I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to see it, because, you know. Yeah, if I don't want the muffled audio for too long, probably after a few minutes I'll, uh, I'll take it off. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I did the thing. So, the mask is... Uh, my college roommate, John, he asked me on Twitter after I posted the schedule. He said, hey, you should do something to dress up for Halloween. You don't have to do face cam or anything, but I just need to know you're in costume. And I said, I got you, fam. And... I ordered this like five minutes after he asked me that and uh, like I said the black hood was on back order so I couldn't get that uh, so I just got the white one and now I have a black sweatshirt it's also very hot um, like normally I don't have a sweatshirt on when I'm doing this normally I have this off and it's around my legs down here so that I can uh, keep my hands warm, because that's the only part of me that's cold when I do this, is my hands. Um, so, yeah, it might be coming off after a little bit, but at the very least we'll have done it just for the meme for a little while. So, yeah, there you go. I should have uh, also probably hotkeyed it so that I could turn the webcam on and off without too many uh, difficulties. Because I'm probably going to need to unfog the lenses at some point, but... I uh, will figure it out. Anyway, uh, let's get started before I lose all of the breath in my body. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't laugh. Forgot. I have to be stoic because if I laugh too hard, I'm gonna have a few problems in terms of being able to see. So, okay. But yeah, this is uh, 
This is why I wouldn't be doing this with a face cam. Like, if we ever did anything Plague Doctor related after this, first of all, I'd probably want to, like, get a, a better one so that it's, like, real leather, leather rather than fake leather. And so that when you tip it up like this, it doesn't just look like a weird sex mask. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Anyway, in my, uh process of doing all this, I also looked at my notes over the weekend for the game, and I realized I forgot something when we were in Limpa. Technically speaking, I forgot two things, so we're going to go and get both of them today before we brave the Suhala Desert. So we'll go do that, and maybe after that will be when I take this off, because it's starting to fog up so badly that I can't even see chat, so that's just great. Uh, how you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Golden Sun, the stream edition. Happy Halloween. That's what this is for. Last time, we, uh, well, we went to Limpa, and we braved our way through the fortress with stealth, even though I failed at it multiple times, and, uh, yeah, then we, uh, started our way through the new continent, uh, Gondawan? Yeah. And we have to go to the Suhala Desert, but I forgot something, so we're gonna go grab that right now, and hopefully by then, uh, I'll be able to see again, because, as I said, these fog up pretty quickly. <laughs> So, let me see if I can read what Sephiko just wrote there. Imagine the real Plague Doctors had some more holes and filters to reduce the heat and the CO2. Yeah, probably. I would hope that... See, like, the holes down here, they aren't open enough to really get rid of the CO2. So, uh, I may be a little delirious when I take this off, if, as if I wasn't delirious enough to begin with before this. Why am I reminded of that one time when I uh, did literal blind playthroughs on YouTube where I played Mario Kart Wii with my mask on? Like, it, I had a, a head mask on so I couldn't actually see the game and I had to play the entire game by muscle memory alone. I'm just reminded of that now, so. Well, we got an acid bath, so that's good. And there goes that guy. Probably won't kill the bee. Oh, never mind, we got the bee. Good. We melted the bee. Oh, hang on, there's a spot where I can see pretty well if I go like this, actually, so. Yeah, more desert, exactly. Could make a Play Doctor VTuber model. I think there's a few people that have actually, like, I'm pretty sure they're bot accounts, but I, there's a few, few people that have actually followed me on Twitter that I have, like, modeler, 3D modelers in their names and stuff, so. I don't know if they're real or not, but, you know. Who's talking to me? Oh, Yodem's talking to me. Sorry, I have to keep grabbing this to make sure that I can see out of the side of the thing, so... Uh, yes, actually, I did leave something behind, so... Okay, then. So he'll wait for me here. That's cool. Yeah, like, if I go like this, I can see clearly out of the side of the one part of the lens, but... It's, uh, first of all, it turns me away from the microphone. Second of all, it's not exactly ideal. This lens is, like, completely useless, by the way. It just <laughs> doesn't even make any difference at all. So. You were so fucking upset the Halloween event that Square Enix gave you a Plague Doctor suit when you already made one and better. Oh, believe me, I understand. I'm, uh, pushing around the idea of using a Plague Doctor outfit myself for one of my glamours when we finally play 14 again. I don't know when that'll happen, but it's possible. What are we even fighting, anyway? I think I can run from this. Yeah, I can run from this. We're, we're back on Anagara, so... Or we're almost back on Anagara. Once we go through here, we will be. So... Then we'll be good. Uh, let's see, I need to go to Garrett's Synergy and lift this. Yeah, this is like playing through, like, literal fog right now. Like, I'm just... <laughs> I, I can't even describe to you how little I can see on the screen. Like, it, it's like my vision is permanently fucked. But, I mean, I can see vaguely where Isaac's moving, and we've gone through this cave a couple of times at this point, so I think I know where I'm going, like, vaguely. It's a good thing most of the first part of this is just going to be me running away from stuff, because I'd be in big trouble otherwise. But can you imagine what the stealth section's going to be like in a second? Because, like, good lord. Oh my god, it's him! It's just like the, uh, his avatar from the side. Yeah, exactly. 
It is truly a blind playthrough now. It's about as close as we can get. I just... I, I can't even see anymore. I need to suck the, the... Like, I need to suck the CO2 off of the lens in order to get... <laughs> it didn't work at all. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's worse. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. I'm so glad I did this. <laughs> It's so stupid, but I'm really glad I did this, just for the hell of it. I'm also sweating a little bit, so I'm gonna have to- I'm definitely gonna have to take this off, but I'm not gonna take it off till we do the stealth section with this on, because holy fuck, that's gonna be a mess, and it's gonna be really funny as a result of it being a mess. At least I think it's gonna be really funny watching it in hindsight, so. Uh, that's Limpa up there, so I need to go over here to go into the cave. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, this is the one that doesn't have the block on it. So, and then I need to somehow manage to push myself up against the frost here. There we go. I mean, I'm making it. It's just not, you know... It's just not very easy. <laughs> I guess this is, the, this is the stupidest thing I have done in a long time, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Hang on, maybe I can see out of this side. Yeah, just don't pass out. No, I'll be okay. I'm not delirious yet. If I start getting delirious, I'll take it off early, but I really want to try to, like, get it so that I'm not, uh... Oh, God, which one of these icons is Halt? <laughs> uh... Wait, I only have one page worth, so it's got to be, like... I'm so tempted. I gotta tell you, I'm so tempted to look. Am I even on the right person? I'm on the right person. Uh, cloak, that's the one I'm looking for, not Halt. I'm like, wait a minute, which one of these is which? There we go. Okay, and now I should be able to do that right away on command. Okay, good. I wanted to make sure it worked without them being able to see me before I did this, so. Yeah, it's kind of hard to describe just how little I can see right now to people because it probably looks like, oh no, he could probably see. There's these, there's these things right here, these clear lenses that are right here. No. <laughs> no, you don't understand. <laughs> it's not... It, it's not working. <laughs> it, like I said, though, it's probably going to be pretty funny in hindsight. I think it's going to be anyway. I can't believe I made that first part. Okay, so we got a cloak here immediately. I, I shortcutted the cloak button, by the way, just to make sure that I could, like... So that I'm not trying to menu navigate. I'm already crippled enough by not being able to see hardly, so I'm trying not to menu navigate while this is all happening too much. Uh, the camera stopped moving. I can't see where I am. Oh, God. Uh, I think I'm in the bottom left corner. Hang on. There we go. I made it. I mean, I guess I could just do this. Yeah, that lets me see a little bit better. So the thing that we forgot, and I just realized I need to leave, actually, because I need to go grab the cell key again, so let's go grab the cell key. Because the thing that I forgot actually requires the cell key, so we're gonna go get that now. Bye. Uh, leaving, and then coming back. Uh, okay, so I need to go here. Oop, I think I got caught again. Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, at least it kicks me out, so that saves me from having to go one whole screen. Now you know how the guards in this place feel. Can't see a dang thing. Yeah, I can't imagine how difficult their job is, to be honest. So. Uh, okay. So. There I am. I was like, wait a minute, I can't move! Okay, so I need to navigate to the item shop. Here we go. That is where the, um... I think the cell key should be in the rarities here, so let's take a look. It's right here. Oh god, which one is the cell key? That one's the selfie. Okay, good. Yeah, I can see a little bit better out of this corner, because there's like a corner section like right here where it doesn't fog up, probably because it's too far away from like the center of the lens, but other than that, I got nothing, so. Uh, just give it to Mia. I think it was only like, what, 30 coins, so that's not too bad. And now, uh, I think I can, okay, so yeah, so I can navigate the overworld like this somewhat okay without having to turn to the side but like once i have to make any fine movements i have to turn to the side to see what i'm doing so uh okay there we go. sorry just had to get my bearings 
Uh, let's see. So we don't got to go to the right just yet. We got to go to the right now. And now we want a cloak, and hopefully I don't go too far up. Okay, I think we're good on this screen. Yeah, we're good on this screen. So now we go like this. Uh, the thing that we need is actually on the third screen here. It's uh, where that guy is patrolling. There's a door that I didn't go through that had a uh, required a key. So to get into, it's uh, down to the left here. So we're gonna gonna wait for him. I'm gonna do this with the, the mask to the side so I can actually see when he comes back a little bit. And then I gotta run too, so there we go. Okay, I opened it. And we're in! Perfect! That's uh, all I really wanted. So there's a bunch of chests in this room, and when we open them you might be like, hey, so Mono, uh, are you sure you needed to come back for this stuff? Because not a whole lot of this stuff looks like it's all that good. And, I mean, if it was for the first three chests, you'd be correct. Not that this stuff isn't exactly the best, as you can see here. I mean, 100 coins, like, come on, that's a drop in the bucket. The reason why we came back is for this item, the Mithril Circlet. It's uh, going to be Mia's ultimate headgear, so I figured I'd grab it for her. And uh, now we should be okay. I'll probably buy the Blessed Robe for her as well before we leave. But uh, the reason why we want to use it is because it has automatic synergy point regeneration at the beginning of each round, as you can see. Don't drop it, right? That's drop, okay. Uh, as you can see here, it gives her some defense, but it also recovers three synergy points at the beginning of each round. So that's gonna be really, really helpful for her. And I'm gonna equip it so that, that way she's got it. All right, so there's that. Now we need to retreat, and boy, that's gonna be a, a hoot and a half. Oh, it's right here, okay. So now we're gonna retreat, and uh, then I'm gonna go into Limpa proper. And we're going to buy the Blessed Robe, if I can find it. I might take the mask off now, because the funny part, the part that was going to be challenging is now done with, and I think we can... Hang on. Whoop. Okay. I can't see what they're saying. So I'll just let them speak. And now I've been kicked out a total of six times. I'll leave. Bye. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take the mask off now if I can figure out how to alt tab here. Let's see. That's face, that's alt, that's tab. And I need to... Where's my mouse? I can't see where my mouse is. Uh, let's see. I will look at chat in a second, sorry. Just need to do this and that. No. Wait. There you go. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, man, that was <laughs> not easy. Definitely not easy, I'll tell you what. Yeah, peeks through hands. <laughs> You'll look away if you want my face to remain secret. No, it's fine. I'll just, I just wanted to, I didn't want a, the illusion to go away, that's all. It'd be like looking behind the curtain for a magician. All right, uh, now that I did that, let me take my <laughs> let me take my jacket off as well. So there you go, John. You got what you were hoping for. It was uh, I actually am kind of surprised, honestly, that it worked because like I ordered it the 29th, and uh, it got here like an hour ago. <laughs> I was like, it's gonna look like shit when I put it on. It's not. It's not going to conform properly because I'm going I'm to have to like stuff something into the nostrils so that it it retains its shape. But uh, oh yeah, I'll just clip it for him so that I can send it to him. It's fine. No big deal. Uh, how do I do this now? Because I have long pants on. So I guess I'll just do this. Yeah, I'll just do that. Okay. All right, so we'll slip this back on. We will slip this underneath. Yeah, I can already, I can already tell that my uh, faculties are returning to me. Like I was feeling a little lightheaded by the time that was over with. But the, as soon as I took it off, it was like somebody like giving me an O2 mask, just <gasps> the fresh air. 
in my body now, so we're we're all good. But yeah, I, I don't know. It might be funny in hindsight watching me bumble around. I thought it would be. We will see. Okay, we're back to it. So let me, uh, now that I can actually see this, let me go to my items and see what a mess I made. When it all went wrong, um... Oh yeah, I'm gonna miss. put this down here. Okay, so we gotta get rid of the glittering tiara. We have another lucky metal from the cell, so let's give that over to Garrett. I guess we'll go back to Tolby. I actually I forgot about this. I was gonna go back to Tolby and buy the cell key because that's where I, uh, that's where I sold it initially. But I completely forgot about that, probably due to the fact that I had the mask on. So the oxygen cutting off from my brain was preventing me from thinking about that. All I could think about was the, you know, the. Excuse me, the most macro stuff. <laughs> so, but that's okay, it's all done now. So we'll get rid of the cell key, we don't need it. We'll get rid of that elixir, because we don't need that either. Uh, I think I got an antidote or something. Or no, I got 100 coins, that's what I got. But we'll also get rid of the glittering tiara, because she doesn't need that anymore, now that she has the mithril circlet. And I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else to sell. I want to keep the Hermes water, because Mom's going to kill me if I don't. So... And I need to go to the armor shop to get the blessed robe, so... The streamer dies on camera, gains 100,000 views. I'm pretty sure Twitch would take that down in a heartbeat, because I'm pretty sure... Death of any kind on screen is like an automatic ban, but yeah, it would be... Yeah, probably pretty silly. Uh, that's not the artifacts menu, that's the artifacts menu. Maybe I need to breathe deeper. <sighs> there. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for, the blessed robe. So yeah, it'll be slightly better than the cocktail dress for her, and it I think it has HP regen on it, if I remember correctly, so we'll, uh, we'll get something out of it, at the very least. We also get a game ticket, so I guess we'll go gamble one last time. I'm already going back to Tolby anyway, so I might as well. All right, so let's check that out real quick. Uh, oh, hang on, I need to do this first, there we go. Details of the Blessed Robe, yeah, so it gives her back 5 HP at the beginning of each turn as well. So now she'll get back 5 HP and 3 synergy points at the end of each turn, or at the beginning of each turn, and that's, uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that should keep her alive for quite a bit longer. I definitely wanted to give her the Mithril Circlet because, uh, she uses the most synergy points out of anybody with her heals, so I said, yeah, she's, she's definitely the one getting that. We'll get, uh, Ivan some stuff when we get to Lalavero. He's, I think all the rest of his gear is actually from Lalavero now that I think about it, so. Yeah. Yeah, Mia finally raised enough cash working as a waitress to buy all of the stuff that she needs, exactly. Oh, just, uh, just thinking about it, by the way, I was thinking about the fact that you were saying before, can't have your disembodied voice pal have an identity after all. Uh, if you want to see what I look like on camera, just look at some of my older update videos on YouTube and that'll show me on camera. Or you can look at the, uh, the, the stream suggestions playlist was, I used to select, uh, stream suggestions from the list back in the day, uh, before I started doing things a little bit differently and stopped taking suggestions, so my face is over there too, so. I didn't really want my face on camera today though because I look like a beatnik under that mask. I haven't shaved and I haven't had a haircut in over two months, so. No, I've shaved in that time period, but I haven't had a haircut in over two months, so yeah, there's that. So, um, yeah, I'll, uh, I will be shaving tonight. I don't know about the haircut part, but I'll be shaving tonight after I'm done with the stream because it's starting to get ridiculous. Like, it's starting to get to the point where you eat a meal and some of the, the smell of the food gets stuck in your beard. And it's like, okay, no, that's disgusting. I can't stand that. I gotta get that out of here. So, <laughs> yeah, what better way to break in a robe than going to a desert? Boy, I hope it's a light robe. I, mean, I don't know if that's an actual item, so it probably isn't, but, you know. Do you get curious? Sure, but it's unnecessary. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, it's just in case, like, like I said, if you're curious, then go for it. Hides my own beatnik face under a mask. Yeah, well, I don't know. I just don't... I just don't feel good when I look like this, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's not even just a matter of like, oh, well, I can shave and I'll feel much better. No, because then the top half of my head <laughs> still has a little bit of uh, stuff on it that needs to go away. I 
strongly was considering actually just cut, trying to cut my own hair, but I don't know how all that's going to work. So, like, it's to that point where it's like my uh, barber doesn't have any appointments for a while. He's, he's, like, booked for the next three weeks, and I'm like, oh, no, that's too long. There's no way. <laughs> I can't make it. So, yeah. Oh, it stayed in. Nice. But yeah, so the barber's booked for a while, and then, um, what was the other thing? Yeah, I don't know. It's Basically, it's just that he's booked for a while, so I don't want to, like... I don't want to wait as long. I'm impatient, apparently. I was going to say, is it going to bounce off that guy twice and I'm going to get stuff? So... Get a barber, trust you. You cut your own with clippers all your adult life, and your head is a cactus. <laughs> Yeah, no, the barber's definitely, it's it's a lot better to have a barber in that case. It's just a time issue, I guess, in this case, because uh, he's booked full for a while, so. All right, we got one more game ticket, so let's go use that, and then I'm going to take another drink, I think, just so that way I have that. As if it wasn't enough that I just had the mask on, um, there's also the fact that uh, my mother got sick on Friday. She works in a school, so she gets sick all the time. And I've been trying to stay away from her a little bit so that I don't get it, and then I woke up this morning and I went to blow my nose, which, two things about that. One, if I blow my nose in the morning and I haven't drank water, something is wrong. My body is doing something it's not supposed to because the mucus doesn't start moving until I uh, drink some water normally. Uh, but then the mucus wasn't moving when I went to blow my nose, and I had to blow my nose immediately. I said, okay, no, wait a minute. That's not good. <laughs> I said, I'm gonna get this shit out of here right now. So I went and took a Mucinex, and, uh, so now the mucus is, it's a flowing a little bit. So if I sound a little hoarse, or if I have to blow my nose at some point, then that's why. I'm gonna have to go use the restroom at some point, so, uh, because I worked out today. Like, I, I think what she has is the flu, but I got a flu shot, so, like, I'm getting incredibly more mild symptoms than what she got because I got the shot. So, uh, it doesn't bug me as much. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's all good, Horsey. That's what, uh, that's what I said to Ludwig in Bloodborne, and then that was after he died, though. So, I don't think he felt the same way. <laughs> Believe you can farm game tickets by selling and buying the same cheap artifact like the magic rod? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense, so. Well, if we wanted them, I could go get them, but nah, I'm okay. Oh, I should sell the stuff that I don't need. I just got an earth shield, I think, so. I don't remember what I got from that second one. Second metal. It went outside the circle, so probably like a water of life or something. Uh, oh, no, it was whatever this is. Battle gloves, boost attack, okay. Maybe it's an upgrade from the, the vampires? Let's find out. Actually, it might be something worthwhile. <laughs> uh, boost attack by eight. Okay, and the van brace does how much? Boost attack by five. Yeah, so it's an upgrade to the van brace, it looks like. Unless it's, like, less defense, which is possible. No, it looks like it's more defense, too, so... Okay, well... <laughs> uh, should I give that to Garrett? I mean, it's a drop from the spirit gloves. Nah, nah, I'll give it to Ivan. It's fine. I don't really even need the Van Brace all that much anymore because, like, he's gonna get an armlet when, he, when we go to Lalavero that'll be better for his elemental power. And then uh, Mia's gonna get an armlet shortly. So, yeah. Yeah, my mom got sick after seeing Isaac's mom, something like that, yeah. So. Okay, so sell the Van Brace. We can rebuy it if we need it because we don't need it anymore, so we'll do that. Let me go over here. I am marginally distracted by the fact that the uh, OBS still has the webcam highlighted. I mean, it's it's not on the screen, obviously, but uh, it still has the, the window where it is highlighted, so like I can see there's a line running across the screen that says how many pixels it is away from the right side. But that's okay. It's not that distracting. It's not as distracting as the lack of CO2. <laughs> so. Yes, happy hollow must to you as well there, Marie. Holy crap, you love how all of these recruiters are from the same damn company. Are you looking at, like, a job fair type of a DLE? Because oftentimes there are a lot of, like, the same people at, that, at those things, so. 
All right, I think we have everything that I need now. We got the Mithril Circlet, we got the Blessed Robe. She's gonna get an armlet shortly, if I remember my notes correctly, so we won't have to worry about that, so. All right, Yodam, I've collected everything up and I've taken my mask off so that I'm not delirious anymore, so let's go through Suhala Desert. Because if I wore the mask there, I would probably die. Like, there's, I don't think there's much of a question there, considering there's uh, so much, you know, heat in the air in these deserts, even if it's not, like, as hot as the other one. Still a desert. They all want you to go back to your last company and get paid less than what you're getting right now. Your resume's out there, so people have been harassing you. Your phone has gone off 20 times in less than half an hour. Leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, I did. Jesus, like... Yeah, that's a lot for a half an hour, so I'm kind of with you on that one. Like, leave you alone at that point. That's, that's way too much bullshit. Alright, so this is the oldest one. So we'll save here, and now we'll go in the desert. Or we'll fight a brutal troll before we go in the desert. That's fine too, I guess. Well, it's a good thing uh, that he doesn't have that much HP because we can just take care of him. So. Hey, Colo! I don't know if that's a good nickname for you, but uh, Cole Malinsky. There we go. We'll just say the whole thing for now. How you doing? Welcome back. Yeah, what the hell? That is screwed up. That's what I'm saying, too. You missed my little Halloween uh, face cam. So that was at the beginning of the episode, but I couldn't have it on for too long. I had a Plague Doctor mask on, and it was causing me to have a lack of oxygen, so I had to take it off. But uh, yeah, there you go. You can watch it on the VOD. So. Good nickname is Cola. Okay, so I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. So how you know desktop support has no future, no one wants these jobs, and the companies are paying pennies. Yeah, they, they need to pay more for those jobs because nobody wants them. Yep, exactly. They want qualified agents, but they sure as shit aren't willing to pay. So, time for another 10 minutes of mask time for Colo. <laughs> now that I just took the jacket off. See, it doesn't look right with the jacket off. That's the problem. Like, here, I'll show you what it looks like with the jacket off. I'll, I'll just do it for that. So Colo can see what we're talking about, but with the jacket off, it just, it doesn't look right. It looks like, uh, like, it, it didn't look like a weird sex mask before with the hood on, but with the jacket off, I don't know, I think it looks like a weird sex mask. I don't know what everybody else thinks, but I think it looks like weird. I think it's just because of the, like, these, the studs at the top of it here or something. Like, I, I swear, they just look really weird and out of place on it. Like, I feel like it should be more plain. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll do it for a moment before we get too deep in this desert and I die of asphyxiation. So, yeah, now you look like a butcher, exactly. Now, now I look like a, uh, <laughs> one, of the, one of the butchers from Dark Souls, exactly. Yeah, it does look like a weird sex mask, I know. <laughs> it, it, was, it was $15, so it wasn't really, <laughs> it wasn't really like a good solid, like, real leather investment, you know, at this point. Like, I don't have that kind of... Well, okay. I don't have that kind of money. One day, I'll get a full entire Plague Doctor outfit, but, uh, not yet. <laughs> I gotta wait on that one. Three fucking recruiters from the same company have all fucking decided to send you the same role for the same fucking company. Why? I don't know. You should you should report. See, this is the kind of thing where I'd be like, you should report that on whatever your job recruitment website is. But I don't know if you're doing it through a job recruitment website, so I couldn't really tell you. Like, I'd be reporting that all day to Indeed, but you know. Oh, okay. So how do we get pet? I guess we just douse the this. You know, I should probably set Douse on a shortcut then, since we're going to be doing that from last time. Like, basically, I would probably imagine what you got to do is use it while you're in here. Or else it'll blow you away. Well, Tornado Lizard! Look how big that guy is. He's jacked. Interbrood Sandstorm Desert. You already reported it directly to the company. We're getting 10 plus contacts a day from the same company. Jesus. Well, I hope they got your message, because... Good lord, man, that's nuts. That is way too much to be having for that. Uh, should I 
impact and protect. I think I'm going to impact and protect. I don't know if this is considered a mini boss fight or not, so let's just do this. Just to be sure. And then we'll give him the smack up, and then we'll uh, go from there. Ow. Okay, well, at least I have an excuse to ow again. Use uh, Wish next turn. It's not on this page. There we go. Do that, and that, and that. Goodbye. And Garrett, oh, 620 experience. Holy shit, that's a lot. Garrett got a level up from it, so that's good. We well, shouldn't be too far behind with the rest of the level ups either. So, All right, we'll let Isaac do the uh, curing since he's uh, not using his synergy points very much. Actually, since that's the case, uh, we'll let Mia do a wish now, now that uh, everybody's pretty close to topped off. I just need to find Mia's next... Uh, next, what's it called, next gen, so that that way she gets her class up, or at least her HP up a little bit, because she's still lagging behind a little bit in that department. She's good on armor now, though, and she also just got another piece of armor, the Virtuous Armlets, which uh, I'm going to give to her after I give these over here. And uh, now she's, I think she's got most of her armor all set, actually. Uh, you can use it as an item to restore 100 HP, but I'm probably just going to use it for its defense and its uh, elemental power. It means her fire attacks will do even more damage now, so... That's good. Excuse me. So yeah, she's mostly done with armor. There's one more piece I need to get, but I think it's in the final dungeon, if I remember right. So uh, everybody else has still got a little bit of a ways to go yet, but we'll we'll go from there. Probably didn't. It's been two months, and you've gone from ten to eight contacts a day. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's that's not good at all. So weird. That's recruiter at life. Just harass people. Like, I'd be blocking numbers at this point. Like, holy shit. So. You found a dude selling Sega Saturn games for cheap. You're gonna buy some of them. Sounds like a plan. Hopefully you get some good stuff out of it. That would be... That would be very good. Uh, I'm just gonna use... Not Volcano. Uh, Eruption. There we go. Because I got that elemental power up now, so I might as well. Uh, you can attack that guy, and you can attack that guy. And we'll see how we do. Magicor. Okay, so it's like a mini Manticore. Fair enough. Oh, we got rid of the Dirge, so that's good. Uh, oops, wrong person. There we go. Get it? They probably live off of a commission, but you keep saying no, and you morons are using the same tactics. Einstein's definition of insanity. Yeah, they. Mm, I think they need to slow that down. Because, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, let's see here. You got poisoned, okay. So let's fix that. I wonder if I can cure Venom with this, probably. Yeah. Okay, good. Because if, if I couldn't, I'd be running back to town to get antidotes, but, well, it's taken care of, so. Yeah, a little risky to break the best armor in the game. A ring with no stats I can understand, but the, the virtuous armlet? Yeah, mm. Don't know about that. <laughs> so. Oh, you already have? They spoofed their numbers, FYI. You have to hope that they leave a voicemail or a text to see the real number. Okay, I see. Refuse to join? If yes, think you can sue. In terms of, like, harassment stuff? Yeah, maybe. I don't know if Marie wants to go through all that hassle, but yeah, definitely. I mean, it's definitely annoying, all things considered, so. Acid maggot? Or? Yeah, acid maggot. Okay. Arid maggot. Should I just use Drench? I feel like that'll do better in a desert, honestly. So, uh, yeah, you can attack. You know what? Actually, we'll have Ivan attack that guy. You two attack the Kobolds. Oh, nice. We got an attack drop. And an instant death. Very good. Alright, well, we didn't kill the uh, Acid Maggot, but we did get some of our synergy points back from casting Drench, so that's good. I eventually want to get synergy point recovery for uh, everyone except for Isaac, actually. But uh, we'll get there eventually. So. First, we got to get through all these tornado lizards, so we'll do that. Uh, I'm going to wish preemptively 
because I feel like we're going to need to. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that. And then protect, and then high impact. Go. You want their company to burn at this point, but not that badly, yeah. I mean, it just sounds like a hassle, honestly. Like, it doesn't sound like something where it's like, I want to go to court for years over this, but, you know. How could he wasted a turn? Perfect. Well, it's not a waste, because he's going to deal lots of damage when he attacks me now, but, you know. Wind Slash. Alright, then. I'll take it. That wasn't too bad. And, uh... Yeah, I'll just cast Wish again. It's fine. Do as much damage as we can, and we'll go from there. Maybe get an attack drop? Hell yeah! Negate that impact! Slash again. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, you know what, I'll wish again. I don't think we're gonna need to because we're gonna kill him this turn, but you know, Cyclone Slash. Nice. <laughs> Cyclone Slash the Tornado Lizard, absolutely. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I can uh, turn the game volume back up now that I took the mask off. That's my bad. Oops. 8.0. There we go. Yeah, I turned the game volume down so that that way I could be heard through the muffled, uh, my muffled voice, but now you can hear me clearly again so I can, uh, fix the audio. Herodan. Herodon? Something like that. It's a Harrier. Harpy Harrier. One recruiter straight up told you when you asked to stop being contacted that you would need to remove your resume from online. So yeah, thanks for giving away the game. Yeah, great. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not that's not good at all. Uh, Roach and Harry Haridon. Okay. Harry Harpy, something like that. Banshee Howl. It really is a harpy. Man, I'm already having enough problems with this heat and these tornadoes. I don't need my hearing to go now, too. I probably should have just cast Wish. Because, yeah, I was going to say we're not going to kill them, but that's okay. We can just do it now. Probably should have switched up who was attacking. No, never mind. We got the rush, so we should kill them. Goodbye. Sweet. And uh, we'll have Isaac heal because he's got more synergy points at this point. He can practically heal across the board for everybody for only a little bit more than uh, Mia uses on a Wish, so... Matter of fact, I might even have... Uh, I even cast Wish to make it a little easier on Mia's synergy points. Because she's casting Douse and she's casting Wish, so, like, she's got a little bit to go. Oh, look at all these split paths. Okay, there's a chest there. A cyclone there. We'll go for this one. This one's fine. Got a resistance drop, that's nice. I guess despite being called an acid maggot, he just takes acid just like the rest of them do. AKA not really well. <laughs> Mia got a level up, that's good. We got a sleep bomb as well, so that's fine, I suppose. Alright, so now we go in here, cast douse, tornado lizard, and then we'll grab this chest. And we'll see what's after that. So, um, yeah, I'll just cast Wish preemptively. It's fine. And then this. And, uh, yeah, we'll just protect up. And impact up. There we go. Oh, if you don't use Douse in the tornado, it drops you off right outside town on the map. <laughs> Well, that's just great. I hope you don't forget to do that at a late point in the dungeon, because that would suck. Storm Rain. No, I cast Wish, so that should help out. Yep, there we go. Tornado. That's fine. That's why I healed. So. Um, let's see, I don't know if we kill him this turn. So let's just do that. And that, and that, and that. Final Fury! Take that and that and that! How good I even leveled up, too. Nice. All at level 23. That's pretty good. Alright, let's see what's in here. That's a mimic. Alright then, fair enough. 
You got me. Um, do I want to impact here too and protect? Yeah, you know what? Because I think these mimics are getting like more HP each dungeon, so I'll probably want to treat this like a mini boss. I've got Psy Crystals up the wazoo at this point, so I can probably be fine with, uh, you know, using one or two at some point. Maybe there will even be a Synergy Stone in this dungeon. How do I know yet? I've never seen one, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I can dream. Okay, good shot. Nice, no effect. That's good. Plus, if we just have a regularly physical attack, it'll uh, she'll slowly recover synergy points as well. So. And we got his attack dropped. Nice. Sleep. I have been sheeped. It's okay. We can still get him with just the two mages attacking physically. See? Got him. There may be one tornado you don't want to douse. Oh yeah, you started the weaponless run of this game. Yeah, I, I think you mentioned it last time. How's that going so far? I, I dare to ask, knowing probably what the result is already. <laughs> uh, okay. So this is not the correct path. Got it. So, yeah, I'll just wish preemptively again, it's fine. I'm getting back like a third of the synergy points that I use on wish every time, every turn, so that should work out okay. I'm trying to think of which tornado I wouldn't want to douse. Like, I mean, I guess if I need to go back to town to heal, yeah, that would make sense, but maybe it's something like specific that I just don't know about because it's something in the game's files, so. Or like, it does something different than the other ones. I don't know. I can only guess at this point because I haven't played the game before. So, like, I could, I can, you know, pontificate all I want here. Doesn't mean I'm going to get an answer. I don't want an answer, by the way. It's rhetorical, so don't worry about answering. It's fine. I'm just, I'm just waxing, as you'll see. You banned using Jenny and Summon, so all your strats revolved around synergy point management since that doesn't get too much weaker without weapons. Okay, gotcha. That kind of makes sense, I suppose. It's okay, you'll see, cackles maniacally. Oh boy. Fun! Sure, that'll be something to look forward to. <laughs> Alright, so we didn't really need to go that way. So I guess the way forward is all the way to the right here, then. Uh, past this tornado. So we'll just, uh, just mostly top off. And I've instilled it. Okay. And we'll go like this. Sometimes it doesn't register the first douse, so I kind of have to press the button a bunch of times. So if you hear, like, clicking in the background, that's just me pressing the R button, so... Or the right trigger, in this case, on the, this Xbox controller. So... Uh, yeah, just attack. And, uh, protect. High impact. I need more water. This is where the douse drop gets some kind of use, because it sucks seeing me tapped on synergy points half the desert. Yeah, I suppose that's fair. I think I... I forget who I gave the douse drop to. I'll have to look after this. I think I gave it to, uh, Ivan? Oh, good, we got him in one hit. Nice. Which means it's not going to matter, because they're both going to be tapped of synergy points. <laughs> I suppose I could give it to Garrett. He's not really using too many of his synergy points. So, uh, as a matter of fact, I might do that. Let's see. Uh, Douse Drop is here. So let's give that over to Garrett, and we will switch him to... Well, I guess he's got Lift. So, there's that. But, you know, let's just leave it in his inventory for now. It's fine. And then we will go to Synergy. And we'll do this and that. And that should be pretty good, actually, for us, because Garrett's synergy usage is very small, so he should be all right. All right, made it through the first screen. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to save, actually. It's been a little bit. <laughs> all right, Colo, have a good night. Yes, sleep well. We shall see you. We'll be heading through the desert while you're sleeping, so... Um, honestly, I feel like I just do this and this and that and that. Nice trick, Garrett. 
That will work. Excuse me. It was, yeah, see, battles like this are kind of nice because they're pretty simple, so I can just have Mia attack physically and then she'll get back some for synergy, so. Oop, okay, so tornado there. Tornado there. Tornado here. I'll take the one on the left. I was rewarded. Cool. I was rewarded with the tornado lizard. Fantastic. Yeah, we gotta comb the desert. Let's hope we find more shit than the last guys that did that, because they ain't found shit. Kids are about to get there for candy, so lots of dinging. Yeah, there you go. Okay. See, here it's raining, and it's been raining all day, so, like... There's basically nobody out to go get candy, as far as I'm aware. So, at least I wouldn't want to be seeing my kids out there right now, because it's, it's kind of gross out, so... Ward? Resistance? Okay, that's fine. I don't care about your resistances. I can hit through them. Especially if I just drop them next turn. Goodbye. Man, that was a really unfortunate turn for that guy. <laughs> Oh, a cookie. Nice. You've been here three spook nights. No one trick-or-treats here. Yeah, not a lot of people trick-or-treat here anymore, either. They used to, but, like, not so much now. Uh, more synergy points, so Mia, go ahead. And, uh, next one. We'll go through this one next. Yeah, so if it's raining, that's the, the backup plan that they usually have you do, uh, is that you go to the mall. And there is an outlet mall in this city, so they probably just all went there to get their, their candy. So, Yep, so that saves us from having to have the kids wander up and trick-or-treat. Which is good, because I'm not even sure if we bought any Halloween candy this year. <laughs> so, we'd be giving them candy from our own stock, which would probably last about five minutes. So. Alright, now we'll just attack, and we should be okay. Nice. And you're hitting the wrong person anyway. Nice frostbite, that'll work. Should get rid of him. Yep, good. And we're leveling up again. Isaac's level 24 Lord. He got the Mother Gaia spell. Okay, well, we'll check that out. Getting a lot of experience in this desert. Holy crap. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'll have you wish again. Just because. So, Mother Gaia, huh? Let's take a look. Uh, Synergies are A. I think I've, yeah, I've had a Gaia spell already. And then Mother Gaia increases the AoE on it, and probably the power as well, for more synergy points. Okay. So. You couldn't buy candy? You kid me not. The candy aisle was bare, and there wasn't anything, not even Skittles. Yeah, good lord, that's probably the reason why we didn't have any candy, now that I think about it, actually, because it probably looked like that in our stores, so. Rain in there, too, but nothing serious, but ideally, the less show, the better, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Was, oh, I was rewarded again with a lucky medal. I don't know that I'm ever going back to Tolby, but okay, sure. Why not? And an edge cord. I thought he was bigger than that because that green cactus looking thing in the background looked like it was part of his tail until he started moving. Oh well. But yeah, ideally the less people that show up the better because then it's, not, it's less of a hassle on you. You know, you don't gotta sit at the door all night. So. I get it. Oh, I'm being binded. Never mind, it didn't work. You looked up Freeze Prism. All three classes that get it don't get it until 52. You could have long since beaten the second game by 52. <laughs> Great. So that's not as useful as it could be, huh? That's unfortunate. But we'll still try to make as much use out of the Prism spells as we can, so... Uh, I don't know if I wish this turn. I think I'm just gonna attack, honestly. Like, get some prior damage off so that that way I can kill him next turn. Yes, every medal after Tolby is an unluckily placed one. 
No, that's how gambling works. Yeah, do you gamble by going all the way back through the desert to see what you get? If you ask me, I think I'll just hold on to them. I wonder if you'd revisit Tolby in the second game, because if you do, maybe you can, like, carry over the medals in your inventory to take them back there? I don't know. Just spitballing, but that seems like a decent plan for the ones that you see after you leave Tolby. There's gambling there. It's another town with a fountain. Okay, so yeah, but the point is, is the same, basically. So you can use it on another fountain, basically. So I'll, I'll probably just hold on to the medals now, and then that way I can use them in a the second game. I, As long as it works like that, I kind of hope it does. So... I think we're almost done with this screen, judging by how it all looks. Oh, quick preemptive strike, nice. Uh, I'm just gonna have everybody attack the one, and then we'll attack the other next turn, so... You know, I don't think I did either. I don't think I played the dice game at all in this one. It's it's in this one. I think it's in one of the houses. They mentioned it, but I don't think I played it, so... Maybe I'll we'll play it in the second game. I'll As long as I get reminded to play it, I'm sure I'll try to play it. Maybe I'll list it in my notes. Play the dice game, because you didn't in the first one. <laughs> so... Whoa! Big tornado. Big pink tornado. Well, it's the right month for it. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month still, so... So we got Halloween and Breast Cancer Awareness into this stream. How nice. Before the month is over. Uh, okay. So down here. Uh, let's see. I think... Yeah, you three can kill a troll by yourself, so let's just do this. Hell, if I get the, uh, what's your call it? If I get the unleashes, I can kill it with two people, but nope. Oh, okay, so he has, uh, access to impact and 30 HP per turn. That's fine. I can cut through that. Eventually. Yeah. It's not like I'm hurting for money. Yeah, that's fair. It's Halloween and he doesn't even throw bones. SMH, yeah, that would be, that would be kind of nice. Wow! What the hell was that all about, man? This thing tried to attack me. And now the Storm Lizard is attacking me. Okay, this is a boss, apparently. That's cool. Uh, so... First turn... I guess I'll just attack first turn, because I'm not really going to need to worry about that too much. Uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll risk it for the Biscuit. We'll use Flint, and then we'll use uh, Protect. And High Impact. Since this has got boss music, so might as well. Yep, that one chases you. It's hilarious. Great. That's fun. I mean, it'll work out. I'm not exactly hurting at the moment in terms of my synergy points. We'll get there probably by the end of this, but I'll... Eh, it's fine. Yeah, we'll definitely get there, because look at the damage that he just did to me. <laughs> so, uh, let me wish real quick, and then... Summon Venus to get that little bit of extra earth power. And then you can attack. And I might have you wish as well. No, I think it'll be fine actually. Just attack, see if we can get the unleashes. Excuse me. Oh nice, got it. Good. And I got the attack drop out of it. That's what I was looking for. I guess he's weak to earth because I just got a big shot out of that. Good. There's impact, raises attack, so I guess that just negates that because we got the thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, if that's how you want to play, that's that's fine by me, I suppose. Uh, that's not what I want. That's what I want. There we go. All right, now spam Ragnarok, and then this is another attacking turn. And, uh, yeah, just, just attack. That's fine. Yeah, he loves his buffs and debuffs. I can see that. I mean, the more turns he spends using buffs and debuffs, the less turns he's using attacking me, so I'm kind of okay with it, you know. Because, as you can see, he can deal pretty good damage with all those buffs. <laughs> he's attacking the wrong side of the party, but, you know. I'm gl kind of glad he spread it out, though, because me is a little... hurting a little bit at this particular moment. I'll probably double wish, actually. I could high impact as well. Or maybe I'll just have Isaac use Cure, honestly. Because that'll top her off enough to survive, so... And then you can protect, and you can high impact, and... It's okay. It's not a great turn, but it's okay. It's a support turn. 
Sometimes you have these. Have a little HP. Now. Top everybody off. Mostly. Yeah, as I was gonna say, I don't think Ivan's gonna get there, but that's okay. Well, he hit the correct person there, because Garrett's got enough HP to tank 127 damage to the face without really worrying too much about it. So that's good. All right, we got our buffs up the last turn, so now we're all out of attack. Relentless Assault! Paradigm Shift! And that's a different game. We'll get there. We're not there yet. Actually, I don't know which version of that I'm gonna play for the stream, honestly. Probably the PS3 version, even though I'm pretty sure it only runs at 30 FPS, because... I think if I remember right, the PC version was kind of borked. I can't quite recall, but I seem to recall people saying, yeah, the PC version of this kind of sucks. There's probably patches for it, but, uh, you know. I mean, hey man, if you keep doing the single target, multi-target thing, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'll, I'm even more okay with single target, single target. Keep doing that, so. See, so do you just keep attacking? I think this is a buff turn. Well, I'm gonna do it anyway, even if it isn't a buff turn. Weird paradigm shift. We go in Sentinel in this house? I mean, I haven't turtled yet, so... I mean, I guess I did on that one turn. But I was in, like... Sin Sin, uh... Med Med that turn, rather than... Four Sentinels. <laughs> no defense. All only offense. <laughs> Alright, so this is working pretty nicely, actually. All of this, uh, the plan is working out in terms of how I wanted these battles to go in terms of the flow, so I'll take it. I don't know how long it's going to take to kill this guy, but sure, I'll take it. Okay, Isaac's looking a little hurt now, but that's okay. This should top him off enough to live. Yep. Good. Very good, very good, and Storm Blizzard forgot to buff himself periodically, so his attack is down. So let's just attack him as much as we can. And good, got him. 1,300 experience, 6,100 coins. Man, that's going directly in the Lalavero Fund. And a Psy Crystal in case you needed it. Good. Because I probably will after I'm done healing everyone. So. Uh, cure well for nobody else. Cure will suffice for everybody else. And how we doing now? So Mia is getting a little close to needing it, so we'll keep that in mind, so. One thing you do like about Final Fantasy XIII was the fucking poses everyone does when you first paradigm shift in a fight. Like, it, it's just, it's anime, right? It's just dumb, but it's funny. I just wish that when they did those poses, the enemy couldn't attack you while you're doing that, you know? So. Because it kind of wastes time a little bit, but it is. It's just funny, honestly. It's just there to be anime AF, basically. All right. Well, now that the big death spiral is dead, let's uh, go explore the rest of this place. I guess. Oh, hello there. How do I find you? Hmm. Have to see about that one. Sentinel from GS2 person. Oh, Golden Sun 2, maybe. Person in the room. Someone called. No, I didn't mean to summon him. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna have you attack physically, actually. It's probably better. So. And, uh, you do that. And you do that, and... Yeah, you can use Hail Prism, why not? Yeah, that does a little better than the other one. So, that's good. We should, we should be able to get them next turn. All things considered. Nice frostbite. Oh good, and he's been stunned. Fantastic. That'll help a little bit. Uh, yeah, you just keep going after him then since he's been stunned momentarily. And how about just a regular prism now? Oh good, they were almost all on death's door. Fantastic. Be honest, you love his fight. Him and his two brethren all taught you something. And then there's the fourth child. <laughs> oh boy. Fourth child is not the one that people are a fan of, huh? Uh, yeah, I'll just have you wish. That's fine. Practically topped off from that. And again, we've got side crystals if we need it, so I'm okay with it. Like, I'm trying to remember... 
if there was a way to get to that gin that I just didn't go back up and around. I mean, I guess I can go check. Uh, there's four enemies here. That's a lot. Um, yeah, Hail Prism. And then... I'm gonna Hail Prism with Ivan as well, so I guess just attack the Kobolds, because they've got more HP. So. Oh, the fourth child is the super boss? Okay, fair enough. <laughs> they attack separate party members? Yes, they did. Everybody got hit, but you know, that's fine. Got him! Very nice. Remember when Omega Evolution did that Layla's boss solo, Tales of Zestiria? Yeah, I remember him doing it. I don't remember if I watched the whole thing, but I definitely remember him doing it. So. Right, let me see. Like, it looks like there should be something right here, maybe, that I could use to... Okay, then that means I need to cast Reveal. Like, there, it looks like there should be a platform right here. There is a platform right here, it's just Revealed. Okay. Oh, you know what? You probably can see the, um... Cause I think it retracts there, right? If I... Oh, that's not Reveal. Oops. Uh, I think there were, like, footprints or something, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's footprints that you can see from Reveal if you use it. I don't know how you're supposed to know to do that. I mean, I guess you just look at that thing and you're like, oh, okay. Like, you look at the space and you're like, oh, okay, there's probably something here, but... When he posted the Dullahan boss, he used the thumbnail of the super boss and used the boss theme as the video's PGM. That fucker knew what he was doing. He beat both of them, yeah. Uh, Omega was pretty damn good at most of the games he played, so I'm not really shocked, honestly. You had a fucking heart attack when you saw that in your sub box. Yeah, I can, I can imagine. <laughs> probably not exactly the the best memory. <laughs> so, alright, uh, let's save real quick. And then we'll see what's behind him, because this is like a side path, it looks like, so. Alright. Hello, Mars Jin. Let's see what you've got. Uh, I'm just gonna go all-out offense-wise, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna go all-out offense-wise. Get his resistances down, maybe. I want to kill him before he decides to run away, Nova. Okay, that's cool. Got his resistance down, that's good. And we got him, good. Mia is a level 24 ascetic. Oh good, and she got an upgrade to her wish spell, the wish well spell, which I think it does double the healing if I remember right? Something like that. Probably costs a lot of synergy points, but you know figure it out. That sound effect is still really loud in my ears, but we got it! The Mars Ginny Flash. Perfect. And that should put her in a little bit of a better place compared to everybody else as well, so... It's not going to upgrade her class yet, but she's still getting some decent boosts out of it, so... Now all we need to do is find the last of each element and we'll be in good shape, so... Immediate PTSD. There's a name you haven't seen in 10 years. You still watch Omega's streams? He's playing Bayonetta 3 at the moment. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I haven't played any of the Bayonetta games, but I think he's played all of them at this point. So Now you just need Mediara. I mean, Pure Wish. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Flash. Ah! I, I know that old song. I, and as a matter of fact, I actually knew the Ring My Bell song as well. I just didn't know it by name. Like, I heard it and I was like, oh no, I've heard this on the radio before. That's for sure. But, yeah. You got flesh. You've unlocked the cheese strat. What does it do? Block damage to party with a firewall. Oh, okay. Maybe that's more worth summoning than Ember for the synergy point rebuff. Hmm. As a matter of fact, here you go. <laughs> All right. So we'll have Flash be his uh, his thing. It's granite, but stronger. Yeah. So we'll probably, if he's going to summon anything, it'll probably be that. Maybe I'll let Mia summon. Uh, Ember, and then we'll be good, so, at some point. Alright, let's go this way. See where the hell this ends up taking us. Yeah, just the last four gin to go, and then we found all of them, so that's cool. Oh! Okay. 
we found the big tornado. The, the pink, the breast cancer awareness tornado. I don't know if I'm properly healed enough for this. Okay, it's actually not that much, honestly. It's a lot less synergy points than I thought. I figured it'd be at least 18, but yeah, okay, cool. I'll keep that in mind. The cheese strat involves rotating between both granite and flash every turn. Have someone heal, have the fourth person do damage, you'll never lose. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, actually, because that would block a lot of the percentage of damage with that, so. Could save and poke into it. Yeah, I could. Don't douse this one, so don't douse the breast cancer awareness one. Yeah, I guess that would kind of uh, cripple the message a little bit if I doused the breast cancer awareness tornado. So, yeah, I'll save real quick and then we'll see what's uh, what this gets me. I mean, I was thinking we could just, like, try to see if I can leave the desert and then I could come back to this, but we can we can check it out. Off I go into the upper stratosphere! Eee! Uh, this doesn't look like Suhala. Where the hell are we? Hang on, I can look on the map. Oh, this place doesn't seem to be on the map. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright then. Hmm. Well, we made it to an island, I guess, so. I wonder what's over here. Let's go see. Crossbone Isle. That's the bonus dungeon, right? Because I think I remember having some stuff. I think I have one piece of gear in this place, actually, that I need to go get, so. Guess your low level or equipment strat technically wins from here on out. Hard work over. <laughs> This is where the bad ending on the boat would go. Oh, okay. Welcome to the end of the Grand Line, yeah. There you go. Oh, good. And it left me lo more log pus pushing puzzles, so that's fun. Uh... Okay. So I need to move this down... somehow, from here. Anything to reveal about this? No. I don't know how I'm going to push that one down, so... Well, I guess, I guess I'm using growth on this. I don't know, I feel like I should go back because we just don't have a lot of synergy points for this stuff, but... Uh, like, if there's going to be a whole bunch of enemies and stuff, I don't know if we have the correct amount for it, so... Oh, if you unbalance the boat, you come here early, there's dialogue for it, and it's rare I have to see because no one unbalances the boat. Okay, well, fair enough. I suppose. I mean, it's good that they have dialogue for it, though. That, uh, you know, it's nice attention to de de detail. Yeah. There you go. I think I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to see if that south exit to the desert leads out of the desert, because if we leave the desert there, we should be able to find a town not too long after that, and then I can heal up without having to use my Psy Crystals, and then we can come back and hit up the Breast Cancer Awareness uh, Tornado again once I... Oh, it just takes me all the way out to Suhala. Well, that's kind of unfortunate, actually, if you ask me. Because that means I'm going to have to redo all the tornado stuff, huh? Okay, well, I'm going to have to keep that in mind for next time. As a matter of fact, you know, I can just do this, actually. There. <laughs> now we don't have to worry about that, because I saved directly before. Yeah, that's what the save was for, exactly. So now we know. We, we know better than to do that so that I can... Okay, so yeah, we'll come back to this. I'm just going to go see if I can find a town first before we go in there. And then we'll focus all of our energies on it after that, so... Alright, but at the very least, we got the Mars Gin that was here, so that's good. Uh, okay, so I don't have reveal on a thing yet, so... Yeah. I wonder if the Storm Lizard came back, or if he's just, like, gone now for good. You just hit 40k chromatins, can you trade them for candy now? I mean, I think there's a couple of commands that you can do with them. I just haven't gotten the potluck up yet, so, uh, one of these days I'll have the potluck up, so that you can trade them for something better than marginally changing my, uh, face or something. Oh, hang on, I'm just gonna use douse, or not douse, drench. With the, um, like, marginally changing some of my emotes is what you can do with it now. 
I think that's the most impressive thing you can do with them for now, but we'll, we'll get there. So the middle one will live, and so will the other one. That's okay, we got a preemptive strike, so we should be able to take care of them. I'm just trying desperately not to uh, use my side crystals if I can, you know, so. All right, Ivan's a level 24 savant. He also got wish well at this level, so that's pretty good. I think the only other spell that I'd really be super interested in seeing one of them get would be Break, but I don't think we get that until later. I think that's like level 30, and I'm not sure that we'll get there by the end game, so. Oh, Synergy uh, Crystal. Synergy Stone. I probably should have... Oh no, we're already at full. Well, now see, this changes things a little bit, because I was thinking, okay, so we'll go find a town, but now that we did that, maybe I should go back. Or maybe I should go forward. I'm gonna save right here. And see what we have up ahead, so that I can see if I want to come back to it. Because it's possible... Okay, well, we've got a cutscene, so it's possible that we can... Yeah, we didn't really see Sheba. I guess I probably should have been looking a little harder for her. But then again, if she's not here, then... I mean... I think we should keep going, because I didn't... If she's out in this, like, it's not going to be good for her, and probably she would have gotten swept up in one of the Tempests and ended up back in Suhala anyway, so I think we should keep going. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, let's head over there. We'll let them know what's going on. Let's get surprise attacked by an orc captain and his friends first, but that's okay. And, uh, yeah, then we'll, we'll go from there. Soon enough, I'm sure, uh, Ivan will get... Oh, I lost nine synergy points. That's unfortunate. Uh, Ivan will get the next level of plasma, and then I can actually deal decent damage to these guys. But until then, eh, we'll just deal with what we've got. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill these guys in one turn. No. Well, I guess we got that one. And that one. Or Captain's defending. That's fine. Or Captain is dead. Or Captain cannot defend anymore. Or if he's going to, he can do it in hell. That's good enough. Okay, yeah, we made it quite a ways then, because Suhala is uh, it's all the way up there. So now we just need to find Lalavero. Probably got to go through that gate that he was talking about before we do that. Basically, I want to go to Lalavero first and get a whole bunch of my armor and weapon upgrades. Well, it's mostly armor upgrades, honestly. But I want to do that before we tackle the bonus dungeon because I don't want to, like, go in there less prepared than I should be, you know. So, that's the plan, anyway. We'll go exploring around a little bit, though, because I got that synergy stone, so I can kind of afford to meander a little bit. Don't talk to anyone in the next area, it's a trap. Oh boy, that's not good. Well, how am I supposed to tell the soldiers that Sheba's still missing? I'm not supposed to, that's the, that's the point. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so there's that. There's a cave over there. And whatever the hell that's supposed to be... Alright then, that's interesting. Is that the Nepto Dragon? I hope he didn't lose his eye again. I don't feel like you... I, there's no mini spell in this game. I can't go find it for him. Maria is not gonna like that I just made a Final Fantasy 3 reference. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's the part of the game that she's not uh, upset by, to be fair, so... Maybe it'll be okay. <laughs> Question mark? Shh, gestures with sign language. Oh, okay. Hmm. They're trying to trick me. They're conspiring against me in chat now. Oh boy. Does that mean I've graduated? I've finally become a proper, like, popular enough 
YouTuber slash Twitch streamer that people are conspiring against me in chat. I'm gonna save before I chat with one of these people just to see what happens. Or we can get an event where he just looks at them and says, What's the meaning of this? Hello. Oh, so you said Papers, Please, and they said, I haven't played that indie game, and then they stabbed you with their swords. Got it. It's probably, uh, Samdi and Maklidi and them, so... Yep, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know why everybody keeps defaulting to Felix here. Like, I know they probably know his name, but, like, we should tell them. No, that's actually Satyros and Mac Minardi. I almost said McCarty. Minardi, uh, who were doing this. Like, Felix is doing this, sure, but he's doing it against his will, I think. I guess we have to kind of go see what Felix is up to to see if he's doing it against his will. Hell, we might even see both of them will kill two birds with one stone because maybe they kidnapped Sheba. They aren't exactly above kidnapping, so, you know. It was all Felix, all him. He's the Earth Adept, and those, by default, are the party leaders. Okay, so maybe he's the one that they just saw do it, so, yeah. We've got herbs, I think. So get to the lighthouse first. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go to the lighthouse then. I wonder if I can get up there somehow. Don't know if there's anything there, but I guess I can check. House of Healing, man. Have you? Good. I'm glad. Maybe I get up there from like, because there's, I mean, this is a walkway that you can see it fairly clearly. And then maybe we go that way. So. Maybe I gotta get up there from around here somewhere? Hmm. Or maybe from here. And maybe this is indicating something that I can reveal. Nope. Okay. Well, there was a thing in the, in the, uh, the rock underneath, so usually when they put a rock underneath, it's like, okay, maybe there's something there, but there was not. It's okay, though. It doesn't have to be. Horned ghost. There's the horn underneath the hood. Drop. That's helpful. Yeah, these guys, uh, they can't really do a whole lot compared to some of the lizards that were smashing me to bits in the desert there. By comparison, 26 damage is very manageable. <laughs> so. Just another unemployed healer. Poor guys never get used. Use them a ton as a kid. You wipe to everything, you swear. Yeah, I mean, it's fair if you don't know what you're up, what you're doing, or if it's like one of your earlier games, which in this case it was your first RPG, if I recall correctly, so yeah, it would make sense, but yeah. I could see you needing them otherwise, but eh. I mean, to be fair, they had like sanctuaries and stuff in Final Fantasy II that I never used because I didn't really die all that often, and when I did, it was like, okay, Min was in my party, he'll take care of me, you know? Impact? That's fine. Look at how uh, friendly they are. Look at them trying to team kill me. Isaac, you okay, buddy? You're bugging out over every rock we pass by. <laughs> There's gonna be a secret, guys, I swear. Like, right here. A mint. Okay, that's cool. Wonder if it's a cool mint. Let's find out. What did those do again? Let's go see. Okay, so we have a uh, lucky medal. I'll just give that to Garrett for now. Got a bunch of bombs that I don't need, and then a mint boosts agility. Okay. Um, I could give that to either Isaac or Ivan. I think I'm going to give that one to Ivan, actually, because I want to make sure that he remains top of the agility list. So let's let him do that. I mean, he is right now, but don't get it twisted. The reason why he's so far up there is because of the Elven shirt. If we take it off, well, he's still at the top, but not by much. Garrett's got uh, 217 agility, so <laughs> he's in pretty good shape in his agility. Garrett is faster than he has ever been. No one has ever done that. <laughs> no, I'm sure people have gotten him super fast, but 
It's mostly just his equipment and his class, honestly. So. Mole mages. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a mole mage in a video game. Like, I'm trying to think back if there were ever mole people that were secretly really good mages in any game, and I just... I mean, I guess dwarves, but they're not really moles unless they are moles, and that's the joke, but... There's another drop point here. There's a bunch of drop points. Man! Uh, I'm gonna go down and see what I can see here. Real quick. The pink tornado gets two turns, so it dies in three and a half turns after you inflict doom on it, which is hilarious. Oh, you can use it for EXP kills? Okay. That's cool. Must have drank the desert's cactus juice, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Um, yeah, I guess just do a drench, and then, uh, attack the ghost, attack the wizard, and do a plasma. Just works pretty good. This little combo. I'm going to need to use the restroom in a moment once I climb down here. Sleep! Not a sleepy sheep! Isaac's luck isn't high enough. That's okay. Got one of them. Me and got back some stuff. It's too bad Isaac didn't get anything because he's sleeping, but oh well. That's a different game. Excuse me, I attacked the wrong person. I should have attacked the gnome mage. But I guess it means that Mia gets more of her synergy points and everything back, so that's good. Use Sacred Feathers or Avoid, Inflict Doom, watch boss kill itself, leave desert, go back into desert, repeat boss fight. Yeah, that's fair, actually. Probably works pretty well. And I mean, if you're saving up for the super boss, then yeah, I could definitely see that being useful. Where the hell am I now? I just went in here because I was like, okay, this is the fastest place from where we were. Nightmares and Earth Golem. All right the siren upgrade. Maybe I should use hail prism. Matter of fact, maybe I should use double hail prism. I have my synergy points back now, so we can treat this like any other dungeon for a little while. Nice. I've been binded. Never mind. Didn't work. Fireball. it. That ain't too much. I mean, 66 on Ivan, but... Eh. It's fine. Alright, so let's wish in case we somehow survive the round, and, uh, yeah, you two just go after those. I'm gonna probably hit the Earth Golem, I think, because he might have more HP. Nope, never mind. Goodbye. Alright, uh, you can use... You know what? Use Wish Well. Why, you know what? Actually, don't use Wish Well, because that'll be too much healing. <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna say, let's try it out, but no. Uh, these almost look like Synergy Stones down here. Huh. Fancy Glowing Stone Cave. Not Charge Stone Cave, that's a different game, but... Well, I think it's the same idea, anyway. From poking around a bit on Google, that does seem like the ideal grind. Either that or just being in the final dungeon. Okay, fair enough. It's a painless boss fight. Kid, you came up with that, but using something else over curse. Oh, okay. Well, good. I mean, if it's something, you know, that you can come up with on the fly and say, well, it feels like my own because I came up with it before I looked at the internet to look it up, you know? It feels more personal that way. Truncheon Fist. All right. I probably said that incorrectly, but that's okay. I'm doing it again. I probably should have just attacked the nightmare. Never mind. She's dead. Level 25, Lord. Very good. Working our way up with these levels, that's for sure. Uh, I should heal, actually, before we get too far here. There we go. Oh, this one works. Okay. Did I top off? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, Isaac, top us off. They give me a lot of synergy stones. I'm kind of surprised. I wonder if this is the correct path, then, since they gave me a Synergy Stone here. Like, usually they stick them on the path that you're supposed to be going. Which, I mean, I guess is fine. If we go the correct path when we get to Lalavero, I'll just end up getting all of the equipment that I need anyway, and then we can just backtrack through these places, so... 
you know. What is it? I thought it was the Nepto Dragon, but I'm guessing this is Babby Lighthouse, huh? Oh, it's his ship. Okay. Try to use what? The Black Orb. Oh, okay, to try to steer the ship. All right, fair enough. I will attempt to use it on the ship, I suppose. Black Orb. Let's hope this doesn't kill me in the process, like that one demon artifact in East Origin. <laughs> Uh, is it supposed to be doing something? Hmm. Maybe it only works for certain people? He couldn't be wrong! He's never wrong! What do you mean? Okay. Sure, fair enough. Alright, sounds like a plan. Uh, before we return to the ship, or continue forward, surging towards, uh... Lalavero, I'm going to go use the restroom though, so I'm gonna go do that and then I will be a right a back. Yeah, remember this ship for later, viewers. Exactly. Hang on, I'll turn the music back on.
still have the webcam on there. I almost accidentally clicked that on because it was turned off, and I was like, oh, that's the, that's the Be Right Back, isn't it? Uh, no. No, it is not. <laughs> okay, I have returned. I also went and put my other, my jacket that I was wearing with the hood away so that I could put on my other jacket, which is a little bit looser, so I can, like, kind of wrap the sleeves around the controller and keep my hands in it so that my hands are less cold. There are kids coming door to door there. Uh, their parents are driving them in their cars while experience ruined. Yeah, that's a little, I mean, I guess if they really want candy, but like, come on now, you gotta walk for that. <laughs> we walked five miles uphill in the snow for our candy as kids. Just gonna say, you do need to go to the super dungeon at some point. There's a prize there that isn't the super boss or the gear you want. Yeah, I'll be going there. I just wanna go to Lalavero first. Um, kinda trying to make a beeline for it if I can. I kinda hope we don't go to Babby Lighthouse first. Um, Cause if we go to, oh, I guess this isn't the way you're supposed to go, okay. Um, if we go to Lalavero first, what I'm thinking is that I'll buy the gear that I want. Um, and then that way I'll be most as prepared as I possibly can for any enemies that we encounter in the bonus dungeon. Because when I think of a bonus dungeon, by the end of it you usually start running into enemies that are stronger than the enemies you can fight at the end of the game. So I'm kind of just trying to prep myself as best I can. So I don't know how Golden Sun treats their its bonus dungeon, but yeah. I'm thinking in terms of that, so. We almost got to beat Nick Scaria, there you go. By the way, this isn't Babby's ship, but a similar one. Hint, hint. Oh, okay. Maybe that's why the Black Orb didn't work. Maybe they all have their own separate keys, I suppose. Oh, I can just get another Synergy Stone when I go back to Suhala Desert. Well, that's good. Maybe. If it respawns like this one did. So that was not the correct path, is what I'm establishing at this point. Which is fine. We'll find the correct path uh, by just wandering around. Okay, we got Enfeeble. I'm not really concerned about that too much, but we're a level... Well, Garrett's a level 25 enchanter. Good. That'll come in handy for us. Uh, what does Enfeeble even do? Let's see. Oh, it's the upgrade to the weakened spell that I never use. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> That's fine. Excuse me. All right, so one of these things will live this turn, but that's okay. I guess they'll both live this turn, never mind. We can kill them next turn, though, so. Sleep spell. Boy, that sure didn't work out for you, now did it? Never mind, one of them did die. I was wrong and then right, or no, I was right and then wrong and then right again. The side crystals respawn upon leaving and re-entering the area. That's kind of nice, actually. It makes it so that you can kind of, like, heal yourself to full before you really need it uh, for the particular area that you're going to, so. A nightmare. Hello. Have acid. And then death. Uh, okay, so... Ooh, a gin. Trying to see what the contour of the land is here. So it's like the second one from the side, it looks like, will get me to the gin. Goblins? These goblins look meaner than most goblins in games, so... I guess we'll do the best we can to cue them. The last Mercury gin, yeah, that was pretty quick. Nice turnaround on that one. It'll make Ivan into his final class. Yeah, ooh, see gin, how get lizard brain need gin, exactly. We'll get there. Did they just use a nut? I think he might have, because he got a full heal from it, so. Yeah, that does have a pretty high impact, doesn't it? Like, it feels weighty when he punches you there. It's just you don't get knocked off the screen. That's about the only thing that would make it weightier. Uh, let's just have Garrett attack that guy. Everybody else can attack the goblin. There we go. That works. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna say it's like the second one over. Let's see if we can grab it. Uh, let's see here. Okay, well, this is a simple one. Okay, 
I should probably wish, actually. Just looking at our HP values there. There we go. Uh, okay, so... It's not this one. It might be this one? Yes, it is this one. Good. I might have slid off all the way if I had gone on the other one. <laughs> so... So let's top off, we'll save real quick, and uh, then we'll get this last Mercury gen. Cool. You don't remember this endgame at all besides the desert? It's very normal territory for the end of an RPG. Yeah, it almost kind of feels like... Uh, what's that one mountain in uh, Final Fantasy VI? Is that Mount Colts that you go to in the early part of the game? It kind of feels like that sort of a vibe from this area. Honestly. I mean, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just unexpected, I suppose. Froth Spear. Okay. Well, he dodged, but that's fine. He dodged the wrong person, because she was the one that deals the least amount of damage of all of us. Gotcha. Good. Get in my party. Give us a shower. We probably need it after Suhala Desert. The Mercury Ginny do. Cool. Let's hand that bad boy right over. Where you at, dude? There you are. And hand it on over to Ivan. We will activate this, and it will get him his final class. He'll go from Savant to Sage. Not that he needed the upgrade, but, I mean, you know, there it is. Not much to say about Sage. It pretty much just gets a lot of upgrades to his stats. So, uh, yeah, he's in pretty good shape now. He's uh, looking like that. He has 429 HP in this class at the moment, which is kind of nuts, actually. I didn't expect him to have that much. He's almost got as much as Isaac and Garrett, I think. So, Mia's running a little behind, but we'll, we'll get her there. Matter of fact, he has more than Garrett, but Garrett will get more once he gets his upgrade, but, you know. You're probably selling all artifact weapons since uh, you find since you banned them and Jenny usage. Yeah, that probably keeps some good money in your pockets that way, so... So can you use, like, item drops that, like, deal damage, or are those off limits, too? Like, the oil drop and the crystal powder and stuff. You memorize this game, you play it fucking nearly, it's hard to forget the end game. Most RPGs have an East Origin looking area at the end, but not this one. Which is fine, as it's kind of close to actual Earth, yeah, fair enough. Can't use those either, okay, gotcha. <laughs> we are going very bare bones with this playthrough then, Marie. <laughs> but I guess that's kind of the point, isn't it? This is like doing a non-bloody knuckle, uh, fists only run of Dragon's Dogma, which, by the way, is not very much fun. <laughs> bloody knuckle is kind of fun for a little bit, but, uh, nope, if you're not using bloody knuckle and using your fists in Dragon's Dogma, it will take forever to kill anything. So, I do not recommend it. It's not very, very much, uh, very much fun. You're bored, you want challenge. No, it's fine. I mean, it makes sense to me, so. You're bored, so you're moving all the fun. Makes sense. Forcing yourself to think. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I understand the why of it, so. Okay, they didn't heal themselves that time. The Mole Mage did, but that's okay. One of the other one doesn't. Other Goblin. I'm trying to get rid of him. Okay, well, we got one of them. Good. Uh, you can wish in case we manage to make it to the end of this turn like that. Uh, Ivan is wrapped in delusions, so he might miss, but that's okay. He didn't miss, good. Even the blind didn't really do a whole lot for him. Cool. So now I'll wish. All right, there we go. And we'll see what's over here. Oh, a dead person, good. Now I'm gonna save again and see if it actually is a trap. <laughs> Imagine, even Hydra statue without Ginny and summons weapons or damaging items. It's more a test of the knowledge of the battle system. Yeah, that's fair. Oh. Okay. Oh, he died. Okay, well, sorry to hear that. I guess that guy's not gonna make it. Uh, okay, so the gate is behind me. So what's up here? Nothing and nothing, it looks like. That might be Lalavero that we just saw up to the north, so let's see if we can meander around the mountains and make it. 
This is a regular old kobold. I don't know if we're even gonna... I don't know if it's even worth it attacking this guy, because he kind of dies quick, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, whatever. 107 experience is 107 experience. Oh, they're gonna have me go to Venus Lighthouse first? Okay. Huh. More dead guys. Great. Uh, very powerful people, evidently. So. Evidently they don't care about you being a scholar. Oh, they got the entrance open. Interesting. Okay, so can I go into Venus Lighthouse now? <laughs> what, what does that do for me if I do? I guess we're gonna find out, because I'm gonna go. The door's open. Yeah, lolly ho, Lalavero. Isaac, I don't feel so good, vaporizes. Whoops. Oh, Thanos snapped. Understandable. I should probably be using Synergy on you, but I am not. It's probably on my... That's probably uh, on me. That's my bad. Alright, uh... I'm gonna save again before we go in. <laughs> I'm just, like, kind of trying to see, like, okay, what does this get for me, you know, so... Yeah, only that one guy evaporated. He didn't get his vitamins or something. This looks like the inside of the Walsh Tower, actually. Oh. Huh. Maybe you have to go in from underwater? Just a thought. Worked for Walsh Tower. Kind of. Some nightmares and a horned ghost. Okay, that's fine. Uh, eruption? Side demons and then hail prism because we don't have uh, the plasma upgrade yet. Nice, that should work pretty good in our favor. Glowers miserably at you. Nope, nothing. Well, that's not good. It's a good thing I have 16 billion luck. An evil spirit grasps Ivan. Who knows what that did? Sure, we'll find out, but I can probably cure it with uh, Restore. Oh no, I can't. Okay, interesting. Well, I don't know what that does, so I guess we'll figure it out later. Uh, does that stick around after battle? Haunt. Okay. It does stick around, and I don't know what to do about it. Fair enough. Read the plaques. Oh yeah, there were plaques over there. Yeah, I'll go back and read them in a sec. Okay, this is longer in longer area than I thought. I'll go back and read them now. <laughs> These? There are words carved into relief. If ye seek to climb Venus Lighthouse first, seek the power within. To obtain this power, see with eyes of truth. Then the way shall open, but the path I reveal is not the beginning. The true beginning lies down ancient pathways on distant soils. Is that just the whole thing? Okay. I just wanted to see if there was anything new if I looked in the rest of it. No, that's the same thing every time. Okay. Gotcha. Haunts can only be removed at a house of healing. Sometimes damages you for a portion of the damage you deal. Okay, well that's nifty. <laughs> I guess we'll have to fix that in a moment. I'll be healing a little more than usual now, but that's okay. I guess that would kind of be a, a pain in the nuts, too, if you got that in, like, the final dungeon or something, because wouldn't you have to, like, go back and heal it or something if that was the case? That would suck. Let's see if this takes me to that uh, staircase. It takes me to one of the staircases. There isn't, like, a second thing, is there? Here. Another platform? No. Okay. But this takes me up to this chest, so... Ah, okay, a lucky cap. This is another endgame piece of equipment that I wanted, and I actually want to give that one to Garrett, because it also gives a little bit of synergy point uh, boosting. It also boosts critical hits, so that's kind of nice. Increases the likelihood of that. Has decent uh, defense, and then gets him two synergy points per turn back. I might even give it to Isaac, honestly, instead of Garrett, because... No, actually, Isaac is going to get something else in the final dungeon, if I remember correctly, so... Uh... We'll give this to Garrett instead, and we'll let him equip it. 
He's down to 194 agility now, but don't worry about that. We'll fix that eventually. So, I wonder if I should give the Ninja Hood to, uh... <laughs> to give it to Ivan so he can have 415 agility. Jesus! Um... No, I don't think I want to give it to Isaac. We'll just hold off on it. It's fine. Alright, well, anyway. So we'll keep moving. And up we'll go. It's not consistent, so it's barely a threat. Okay, fair enough, yeah. The person doing regular attacks wants it. Yeah, I mean, I suppose he does do the most regular attacks out of anybody, doesn't he? But, hey, if he's doing a lot of the synergy stuff outside of battle, and he uses Protect, it might come in handy for him. I mostly gave it to him just because I didn't really have another slot for anybody else because, again, Isaac's gonna get something later and everybody else already has it, so, you know. Uh, yeah, Eruption and then, uh, Hail Prism. I think that'll get the job done. Oh, there we go, Shine Plasma. We get to see it, even though I can't cast it yet. Ow. Gonna need a heal after this one. Alright, then so... That's Eruption. Let's just wish, and then we'll attack these ladies. And, uh, you know what? I'll wish again. Why not? Top everybody off. Kinda sucks that Astro Blast gets no upgrades, so you really see and feel it fall off. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, it's just kind of... It just feels like the unleashes from the weapons are better because they don't cost synergy points to use, you know? Like, my physical attacks are doing enough to where that feels more free, I guess, than trying to get uh, Astro Blast to work, so... Yeah, I don't know. For me, that's why I'm not really using it, I guess, so... Uh, no, she's good. They are better, that's why artifact weapons beat the shit out of non-artifact ones. Yeah, that's fair. I was thinking about maybe putting that in my critique as well, where it's like, no, I don't know, I feel like the, uh, the art, the Unleash stuff, it just feels a little too powerful because it's, it's not, like, guaranteed, but it's free, and it often does more damage than your other stuff, you know? So, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Oh, okay. Did they maybe mess around with that, or...? Huh. Okay. Well, we'll have to see if we can get over there and see what we can do about that then, won't we? Thousand damage versus 500 on a crit, yeah. yeah. And I mean, it, if you were just u wanting to use the synergy attacks instead, I mean, that's fine. Go ahead and do that, but... Like, I don't know, it just feels... To me, it just feels less effective, I guess. Uh, actually, Isaac, why don't you attack the Gnome Wizard, because your weapon is, I think, Venus Elemental when you get a an Unleash, so... Excuse me. Uh... No, I'll Hail Prism. So yeah, like, if you're trying to make more use of the, uh... Of the synergy attacks, that's cool. It's just, it feels like, oftentimes, near the end game now, it just feels more like... Uh... I want to be using the Unleash attacks instead. Like, eventually, Isaac's going to get uh, a thing that's going to let him recover, uh, or not recover, but he's going to get a uh, weapon that has its own uh, Unleash effect that's even more busted. Well, not busted, but it's strong, basically, is what I'm saying, because there's an ultimate weapon that we can get for him later in the game. And it'll kind of trivialize the use of Ragnarok because it'll do even more damage than that, so it's kind of like, at that point, it's like, why even bother with Ragnarok when I can just attack physically, you know? So. Okay, I guess I could have checked the other statues as well, but... Well, that was kind of dumb of me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we... We might be able to move it off the ledge, so... Hmm. Uh, probably, but 
What do you mean carry that block? Can I like move it? I mean, I can move it that way. Okay, so it's stuck inside of the move blocks here. Hmm. I don't know if we have anything for this right now, like unless lift works. Which it doesn't. Okay. Don't get you wrong, you love this game, but you will brutalize its flaws. <laughs> so. Garrett said the answer, we need carry. Okay, so there's another synergy called carry that we don't have yet. Okay, so that's what we need in order to continue. Got it. I'll keep that in mind. We'll look for carry when we get out of here. And hello, H-Dog. How you doing? Welcome back. We uh, made it through Suhala Desert, so we're just exploring around in uh, the Venus Lighthouse entrance, I suppose, since we can't go any further than this. But uh, we'll figure it out eventually. There's one last synergy rock I need. Yeah, let's go find Mariah Carey then. Great. It's almost time for her to come out of hibernation. It's almost an, uh, Christmas time now, so probably be seeing her soon enough. So yeah, let's go. Let's go see if we can find this carry rock thing. Oh yeah, and Isaac's getting synergy points in here because he's uh, in Venus Lighthouse. I didn't even think about that, but that will actually work out to my favor when we get to the later parts of this dungeon, because then everybody will get synergy point recovery once we go to Lalavero, so. Like, I, like, again, I didn't even think of that, but it's gonna work out nicely. <laughs> so. Uh, we went that way, that led to the one chest, we can't get to the other chest as far as I know at the moment, so. I got the thing that I wanted in here anyway with the Lucky Cap, so I'm kind of okay with not getting to the other one. I'll figure that one out later. Fucking reaped that succubus. Yeah, she went directly back to hell. And I did it again. You want to see me send this succubus to hell? You want to see me do it again? I, I can't get my voice like Tom Kenny does. It's just, it's too difficult, but, I mean, I can get kind of close, I guess. Alright, so, uh, new plan. Let's skip the rest of Venus Lighthouse for now, since I have no way of moving through it. And see if we can make it to Lalavero, like I was initially planning on doing anyway, so. I guess I could use a little bit of healing. Alright, so this leads to nowhere. Yeah. And then there's the town there. And nothing up there. Alright. So I'm gonna assume the big spooky looking lighthouse is Babby Lighthouse, which, again... <laughs> like, I was already kinda like, okay, well why would you build another lighthouse? But now I'm kinda like, okay, but why would you build another lighthouse but also make it spooky? Like, <laughs> I mean, I guess it's around Halloween time. Maybe he's self-aware, but... Gotcha. All right. Let's head in here, shall we? See what we can find. Uh, dead people, that's what we can find. Great. <laughs> Just what we needed. I was gonna say, you had uh, Tolby soldiers here in Lalavero, but no, that checks out because they're building a lighthouse directly behind it, so they would, would have soldiers here. Uh, probably, yes. The thing he said to see with the eyes of truth. Yeah, I guess I could have checked and seen if there was anything else to reveal in there, but... Well, I'm going back anyway at some point once I get carry, so... My, my main priority after I go here is to go back to Suhala Desert and go to the bonus dungeon, though. So we'll do things like a little at a time as we go, because I think we're done in Suhala Gate now. Uh, so we'll go back to the desert and we'll go to the bonus dungeon. We'll do that. Then we'll come back to Venus Lighthouse and see if I missed anything with Reveal. And uh, then we'll come back here and we'll go to Babby Lighthouse, probably. Just remember, the people of Lalavera are doing slave labor for Babby to secure Sheba's freedom. Yeah, so they probably won't be too happy to see uh, Yodum. Seven? Great. Hmm, who did they add to their ranks? 
I mean, who else is gonna travel in a party of seven, you know? Yeah, also we can keep a fucking despot alive, like, come on now. Okay, well, at least we know she's safe. The real question is, yeah, what do they want with her? Hmm. So they're at the lighthouse, which means that this is now a point of, well, not a point of no return, but it's now a world in imminent peril situation, or somewhat. Which means now's the best time to go back and do all the things I missed. I know the saying there was more side quests, but... Technically speaking, it's just stuff that I uh, mulled over because I wanted to go <laughs> uh, here to get some equipment. Don't worry, that'll be explained in the next game. Okay, fair enough. It's the Lalavero, or is that just a typo? Okay. So now their party number's eight. Great. Fantastic. I mean, I guess a little bit. We'll be fine, we just need to sleep this off a little. Even the soldiers insist, which gives me even more reason to not go and do all those things. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I'm sure she'll figure it out eventually. I hope. Anything in this job? Maybe something on the other side. So we'll start from this side and we'll move our way around. I mean, maybe her mystic powers are haven't like fully been realized yet? Hmm. Or maybe they're selective. I don't know. We'll find out later, I'm sure. Oh good, the weapon and armor shop. This is just what I was looking for. Uh, I probably have some stuff to sell, yeah. I've got, uh, these gauntlets that I don't need anymore. I've got this sleep bomb that I've never needed. Same with the smoke bomb. It's not worth as much, though. Uh, let's see. We have 86000 almost $87,000. That should... coins. That should come in quite handy for this whole thing. I wonder if I should keep the ninja hood. I mean, I'm not gonna equip it, so... I guess I'll get rid of it, whatever. I can rebuy it, so... Not a big deal. Uh, okay. So I guess we're good there. I think there's only one weapon that I want to buy, and I'm pretty sure it's an artifact. Yeah, that's all the stuff that we could have bought before, so... Let me see here. I guess we could buy the Silver Blade as well. It's an upgrade from the Assassin's Blade for, uh, Isaac for now. It has Aqua Sock as its, uh... Unleash, which I think is just extra damage, if I remember right. It's kind of like the Arctic Blade, but an upgraded version. So, uh, the Swift Sword I was considering for Ivan as his weapon. But I kind of was like, eh, I think the Ninja Blade will come in more handy utility-wise. So, uh, there's the Dragon Axe. We could give that to Garrett, but I kind of like the Shamshir a little better for its utility. Uh, there's the Righteous Mace, which I don't know if I ever really considered that one, honestly. And then I think all the way down here, yeah, here's the one that I'm going to get for Mia. The Crystal Rod. Lots of money that it's going to cost us, but honestly, I don't really have her attacking anywhere outside of random battles. And if she can get an access to an attack that inflicts instant death with her Unleash, in random battles, yes, that'll come in very handy. So that's why I'm going to give it to her. It's an upgrade from the Frost Wand, and, well, now her and Isaac can both inflict instant death with their <laughs> weapons. <laughs> so... I'm kind of okay with this, but that's her ultimate weapon that I'm going to keep for her, so... Uh, we'll keep the game tickets over here, and I think that's it for weapons, because we got the other weapons for everybody else, except for Isaac. He's going to get a better weapon later, but uh, armor-wise, we can probably get a few things, so... I think there are artifacts, too, so... Yeah, one of them is right here, the Magical Cassock. We're going to get that for Ivan. This gets, uh, gives him some synergy point recovery passively, just like uh, Garrett and Mia now, so that'll help him out immensely. It lowers his agility, but he's already got 249 of it, so he'll be fine. And we can finally get rid of the Elven shirt. Give that to Garrett. And then what else? Um, I could rebuy the Quick Boots if I really wanted to. 
I think I want the Jeweled Crown, if I remember right, for Ivan, because it gives him a little bit of extra luck. It's not particularly necessary for him, but I don't think there was any... Oops, I lost my headphone from scratching my ear. I don't think there was any other headgear where I was like, yeah, I should really get that for him, so I guess we'll just get this for him now, so... Better than the Platinum Circlet, anyway. Extra luck is kind of nice, probably, too. And then the Spirit Armlet is another one for him. I think this gives him a boost to certain uh, elemental power for him. It's probably not as good as the Battle Gloves, but it is a, quite a bit of an upgrade in terms of his defense, so I think I'd rather have the defense for him. Like, his attacks aren't really the consequential thing. The unleashes and getting the resistance down are the thing that's most important for Ivan, so I'll grab this for him. There you go. Um, do I want the Battle Gloves for anybody else? No, because I've already got War Gloves and Spirit Gloves and everybody else, so we'll just sell these. It's fine. Samdi and Melchlidi have a reason for kidnapping Sheba. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, I, I guess I kind of figured. They probably need her for, like, one of the lighthouses or something. Like, if they go to... Didn't they say she was a Jupiter Adept, or am I misremembering something? Because if they did, then they probably need her help with the Jupiter Lighthouse. Since she's... I don't know if any of them are Jupiter Adepts. So, that would make sense to me, I guess. Uh, okay, well, our inventory's kind of full, but that's okay. I'll we'll figure it out. So, we'll do that, that, that. Garrett's inventory's kind of full, I suppose, is the thing that we should keep in mind. Uh, maybe I'll give the lucky medals to Ivan, just so I can kind of evenly space this stuff out. There we go. Somewhat evenly, anyway. Oh, you said she was female, Ivan. Maybe that's where I got it from then. Well, that's okay. Uh, oh yeah, view equipment. That's what I want. So you are done on equipment, except for the Blessed Robe. We're going to upgrade that in the final dungeon. You need a new weapon, new helmet, and a new chest piece, but I think all of those are in the final dungeon. You need a new chest piece, but that's in Crossbone Isle, and you're done. So it's just Garrett and Crossbone Isle and Isaac in the final dungeon, and that's it. So we'll keep that in mind. Now I just need to find an inn, and then we can go backwards and head to Sioux Hollow Desert. See if we can grab that, uh, whatchamacallit. This really feels like a, um... What was the desert town at the beginning of Final Fantasy IV? Because that's kind of what this feels like, actually. Oh well, yeah, I would imagine. Oh. Huh. Wonder how you received her from the sky. Maybe she was dropped off by aliens. Or wait, never mind. This isn't Chrono Cross. That can't happen. Oh. Okay, fair enough. Can probably get up there from somewhere else. Like maybe that growth vine? Something like that. We'll figure it out later. Maybe she didn't want you guys getting hurt. Maybe that's why she's being held hostage, because she was. they were like, okay, so you either come with us or we'll kill everyone in Lalavero. Hmm. Fucking hit the nail on the head. They didn't have a Jupiter Adept and need one for Jupiter Lighthouse. Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of figured it was a little bit difficult to believe that they had a Jupiter Adept, considering uh, Satyrus was a Mars Adept, from what I understood, so... I don't know what Minardi is yet, but she didn't strike me as a Jupiter Adept, so... No, that's fine. Understandable. Off to work, then. Oh, okay. There she goes. Well, let's have a little rest. 100 coins. That's fine. Thank you, sir. All right, so probably we go north in order to get to her, but first I gotta go get that guy. Just gotta figure out how to get that guy. And that'll be the final Mars Gin, so Mia can finally get her class upgrade. That's good. So I guess it just means Garrett and Isaac have some left. Uh, well, you should probably ask him that. He's in our party, so. Oh, wait, hang on, I glossed over that. What did he say about Venus Lighthouse? Hold on, back up. 
So the ruins are, they're talking about, I think, uh, they're talking about Babby Lighthouse because I think that was built over ruins, if I remember right. So maybe that's how you get into Venus Lighthouse proper. You go through uh, the ruins and then go all the way there. Oh. Hmm. Well, I'm sure we'll figure that out eventually. Item shop. Got any Psy Crystals? That's about all I really need. Don't really need the Waters of Life. Let's see how many of these she has. Never be too prepared, I suppose. Thank you for the game tickets. I will hold on to that. And that's it for Psy Crystals. Okay, that's fine. I could buy more Water of Life, but I don't really think I need it all that badly, so... Alright, let's get this Haunt cured. Uh, repel Evil, maybe? Yeah, Room of Spirits for 50 coins. Okay, that's really easy, then. Thank you, sir. So we got to use the House of Healing after all. Now I just need to figure out how to get uh, up there. Hmm. There's got to be a way to like maneuver around the stuff here. I also don't know how to get to this lady. I guess I could just hop over. Yeah, well, I hope so. I wonder if I can get in from this house and then hop over. Well, let me read what's on this thing first. Oh, nothing to read but a Psy Crystal. Okay, I'll take it, thank you. So yeah, I'm just gonna try that, see if I can get on the walkways by going up their ladder, which I didn't even see before. No one gets haunted, that sound effect is rare I have to hear. Yeah, I guess I got a little lucky in that department then, huh? If you want to call it luck. Oh, look, a chest. Let's go see what's in here, too, since I'm already going this way for the Mars Gen. A warrior's helm. Probably give that to Isaac. Let's see what it does. Actually, that might even be his ultimate equipment. Yeah, it is his ultimate helmet. Okay, because I thought this was in the final dungeon. But yeah, it increases his Earth Elemental Power by 10, increases his chance of critical hits, and gives him lots of defense. So here you go, Isaac. <laughs> Have a warrior's helm. So now he's good in everything except the weapon and the chest armor category and the hyper boots, but, well, we didn't get those, so that's okay. So we just need chest armor for you two and then a weapon for Isaac, and we're in good shape. I'm going to keep the Assassin's Blade, though, because that's a whole bunch of instant death, so. Okay, so there's another ladder to go up in a different place to get the other gin, so. I think I have, yeah, I think I have had the water jacket for a while. I think it's because it gives him extra resistances, if I remember correctly. I don't know if they're super powerful, but he was taking more damage from, like... Here, let me look at what it does just to make sure. Resist water and fire. Yeah, I think that's what it was, because he was taking more damage from the fire gin, so I figured keeping it would give him some better stuff. I don't know, defense plus 30 isn't too bad, though. That's pretty... It's not exactly on par with the rest of this stuff, but it's pretty high up, considering. Maybe I'm just coping. I don't know. Oh, there's another ladder. Just gotta find it. Ah, there it is. Okay, so hop over here. Figure out how the hell to get all the way around to the Mars gym that's there. Can't hop over there. So then how do you get to the thing there? Maybe we can hop over here? No. Um, trying to check the pot real quick. Can't aim at it with the analog stick. There. Oh, nothing. So, and I can't hop this way? No? Oh, I can just hop that way. Okay, that makes sense. Alright then, I don't think this one's gonna fight me, but I'll save just in case. because they don't usually fight in towns, so. Instead, he will fireball my ears for one last time until the Lost Age, but yeah, there you go. The Mars Ginny Torch has joined Mia's party. Uh, Mia's little section of collection of gin, which is good because she's the one that needs it anyway, so. Oh, look, it even put uh, Kite down at the bottom there. That's cool. There must be some sort of auto-sorting then, unless I traded it and did it that way. 
Uh, penetrate defense with a melting blast. That's fine, but really the main thing that I want out of it is the class change she gets out of it. Water Monk, because she's been behind for a couple of videos now from everybody else, thanks to Ivan's extra class in there, but now she's not. She gets uh, a lot of HP, a lot of synergy points to work with, lots of extra attack. She's a house now, and she also gets another point of luck, as if the rest of it wasn't already busted enough. So... Now she's good. Look at all that HP we've got. And Garrett and Isaac... Well, Isaac is is at the top of his class. Um, so 467 is correct for him. Garrett's going to get more HP in a few minutes once we get the next wind gin. Well, maybe not a few minutes, but... The, whenever we get the next wind gin, he's going to get a bunch. So there you go. Yeah, all fire gin. Water monk. Shh. <laughs> She is the master of both her own element and the opposite. She has uh, meditated on the elements, excuse me, and it has given her this power. Okay, so we're done in Lalavero. I've pretty much got everything I need from there except for the main plot, so. Now that we're done there, let's, uh, and we've got a bunch of good equipment to work with, let's head back. We'll go all the way back to Suhala Desert, all the way back to the tornado, the storm tornado even. Although I think Storm Tornado was purple rather than pink. And uh, we'll take the Breast Cancer Awareness Tornado to the bonus dungeon and we'll work on that. We'll start on it now and then we'll move on to, uh, we'll finish it up in the next episode basically. So. That's the plan anyway. Boy, I should really move more when I'm doing this stream here so my back, lower back doesn't hurt when I get up from doing this afterwards. So the problem that I have with playing games on an emulator at the moment is that uh, I have uh, this short cord, so I have like a six foot cord for my headphones. And because of that, I have to keep my computer, I don't have a desktop computer. I could do this at my desk, but it would be harder to keep the microphone in place on there. Like my desk would be super crowded if I did that. So I play it on a, a box that I have in front of me. And I have to keep the box like close to me because of how short my headphone cord is. So it, uh, sometimes it makes my legs and my lower back be like, no, you really should be moving instead of like falling asleep over here. <laughs> so She's a kettle of boiling water, if anything. Well, she has been like practically crucibling things since we got here, so <laughs> with eruption. So fair enough. I guess I could have come back and healed the haunt from the healer here, if he was even remotely interested. But I don't know if he was. Storm Tornado, don't you mean? Storm Eagle! Well, yes, but he gives you Storm Tornado, so... Yes, both. Alright, back to the desert we go. Hey, no sandstorm yet. It must start up, like, once you get to a certain point. Uh, this is where the Synergy Stone was, but it looks like we don't need it, so that's good. And we want to go back up here. Uh, tornado's still there, that's good. Enemies are still here, that's good. Just bash him in the face. Blech. So I guess we'll be going in with slightly less than optimal setup because Garrett and Isaac don't have their final gin yet, but that's okay. We'll make it work nonetheless. The only one who's really going to be hurting for it is Garrett because he's not going to have his final class, but... Well, it's fine. Alright, uh, I'm going to save here again just in case I decide this is a bad idea at some point and I can come back. I'm probably not going to do that because I'm probably just going to, you know... Uh, because I need to go get the equipment anyway in the bonus dungeon, so I might as well just try it out and see how far we get. I can save inside the bonus dungeon anyway, so no big deal. The sandstorm only happens when a normal lizard spins up? Okay, gotcha. Also, it's funny that the giant green lizard can be executed and never come back, but he can fucking chase you down. <laughs> he wanted to kill you, it just didn't work out for him at all, so. Oh good, I have to 
mess around with all this stuff. So you use growth. Let's give you this and just completely annihilate all of the cool stat bonuses that Mia just got in favor of growing a few plants. Alright, there we go. And now we can fix it. I was going to say, what kind of a class is that going to give you? But it's okay. Oh, good. <laughs> I have to do it again. I, sh I shouldn't have been so eager to unequip and re-equip because it was going to happen again. I wonder if there's any enemies on this screen. Because, I mean, I guess if there isn't, it's not a big deal that I'm, like, doing this over and over again. But growth is so fucking cursed. <laughs> It kind of feels like something that you should have on, like, uh, a synergy item, but we just don't have access to anything that's a synergy item like that. That's a whirlwind thing over here as well, I think, so I'm going to see what this does when I do that. Uh, oops, hang on. Get rid of it! And that will get us uh, nothing. Unless that's something I can reveal, in which case, clever girl. Nope. Alright, well, I wasted five synergy points, but that's okay. We'll make it work. I'll drop down here, just to see where we end up. Oh, okay, so we can... Well, now we can push this, and now that's out of the way, and we can whirlwind this and see where that leads us. There's actually a Whirlwind alternative on the Ninja class. Well, that's a good reason to get the Ninja class then in the Lost Age, so that's a triple class if I remember correctly, so hey, good on ya. Now I have a good reason to, to use it, because then I can not have to worry about unequipping and re-equipping as much. So keep that in mind when I'm thinking of my classes for the Lost Age. I'll take this, thank you. Who to give it to. Maybe I should give the vials to Garrett since I seem to be getting more of the the nuts instead. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to hop over there. Here's the chest though. One coin. Thanks. Thanks a whole bunch. Uh, I can probably drop down and get that chest if I uh, do that part correctly. Okay, so it wouldn't have mattered really where I dropped down there, because I already moved this, so let's just not accidentally move it back up again. Can't see, but your smile is slowly turning upside down as being replaced by screaming. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Literal penny. FF12 does that all the time. You're used to disappointment. Yeah, that's true. Final Fantasy 12 does have a whole lot of uh, chests that just have, like, very little gill in them, so. There isn't a, pa a platform here, is there? No. Okay. Well, down I go. Oh, look, we could see outside of the reveal for a second there. <laughs> well, that's a mint, so that's not bad. And now there's a cave to go into, and I can't go over there, so. That's fine. Well, since we can go into that cave, let's re-equip our normal setup, shall we? There we go. Oops, not ground. Torch. There we go. And we're missing a little synergy points, but that's okay. In we go. So we made it into Crossbone Isle. What the hell is waiting for me in here? That's the question. Uh, staircase, okay. Well, that's a good sign. And a, a door? Are we sure this isn't, like, Vice's new secret hideout or something? I feel like if they referenced Vice in this game, I'd be on board with it, because it'd be like, Hey, we remember you, Overworks. We used to work with you all the time, you know? But I don't know if that's actually gonna happen, so... Okay, we can't go over there just yet until we push that. Oh, hello. Hobgoblin and two Viragos backing the Hobgoblin. I didn't expect a boss fight here, but that's okay. Um... I mean, I'm kind of okay with just wishing now, because Mia has so much more synergy points than she did previously, so I'm kind of okay with this. 
I guess I could like spread a whole bunch of damage on turn one since, well, it's turn one, so, you know. Uh, Mother Gaia. Let's even try Mother Gaia out. We never get to see this, so might as well. We'll blast everything with our strongest attacks and then we'll see what's left standing after that. The Hobgoblin, that's who's left standing. Here you go! Nice! That's a cool animation. Alright, we got the Viragos, that's good. Crystal Powder. Oh, that's gonna hurt a little bit. Not much, though. Oh, he only gets one turn. Okay, that's cool. That will make this much easier. I was figuring he'd get two. But, uh, yeah. Oh, just listen. The music tells you all you need to know. Yeah, there you go. Yar, there be puzzles. No landlubber should ever trifle with me, hearties. Sorry, that was bad. Now imagine doing this at level 15. It's possible. You did lose your star. Maybe the, um... Is that because the sub ran out, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. Oop, hang on, I got a text message. Um... Hang on, sorry, I got to reply to this one. Parents went out eating, and they're asking if they want me to bring them home, or them to bring me home a uh, thingamajigger, an entree from there. And I'm texting with one finger there. The sub doesn't renew for a week. I don't know. Oh, that's weird. And now it's back again. It's strange, isn't it? I guess I'll just spam Ragnarok for now. I don't know how much HP this guy's got, but, uh, I mean, we did a decent chunk of it last turn, but might as well just give it a shot. Yeah, free food is always good, that's true. The fucking Sonic movie, why? Was that a reference to the Sonic movie? Because I didn't see that movie, so... Whoops. Smoke bomb. Oh, big deal. I'm wrapped in a delusion. What's the... You know, actually, he's going uh, after me, I think, which is kind of funny because that means he's even slower than she is with the turtle boots on. That is sad, sir. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, lucky metal. Nice. Okay, so after you... So you basically you fight a boss and that lets you open the door here. Okay. I dig it. I'm down for it. Hey, Tanum, how's it going? Welcome back. We're inside the bonus dungeon, Crossbone Isle. I don't know what the hell's going on in here, but I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Uh, boost agility. Who wants that again? Let's see, that would put you, you're at 249, 194, 197. So you're good, like, you'll be, you'll be fine there, so. Um, I'll give it to Isaac. Because basically what's going to happen is I want Ivan to be the fastest so that he can high impact first. Then if Isaac attacks, that's fine. And I want Garrett to be fast enough to where he gets protect off before the enemies attack. Which he should be, based on the fact that he still has one class change left to go. So let's give that to Isaac and uh, we should be good. I said strange, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. I just didn't say it in his voice. So fair enough. You're now fully screaming on the inside. Also, these bosses suck at levels below 20, aka when you're on the ship. Yeah, that would, uh, that would be pretty difficult then, yeah, after being on the ship, so. Well, not getting there from here, so I guess we'll go the diff a different route. Go up and around this way. Another antidote. Well, I guess if you need it. I'll hold on to it just in case we get more of them later. Because the more of them we give to Mia, the less of them I have to, like, you know, maneuver around, so. Alright, so move this this way for now so I can go get this chest. Then I can move it back after. I think. Oh, there's another nut. So can I move it from here? Probably not, right? 
Maybe if I go back out. I wonder if I have to refight the Hobgoblin to get back in. No, I don't. Okay, good. Fantastic. Is the encounter rate taking it easy on me, or is that just me? Because it feels like there's not a whole lot of encounters in here. 111 coins. Nice. Who packed all these chests? A squirrel? Uh, something like that. Seems like it. Alright, there we go. Let's see where we can go from here. Um, well, I guess I can go down and around here. Let's we'll see where this path leads, and then we'll go from there. Uh, dead end, that's where it goes. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Because I can't jump diagonal. Yeah, so. I mean, I guess I can go this way. And that's already out of the way for me. So I made it around it, but now I need to move it, so I don't know if I can reach it from here to get to that chest. Hmm, I can try. Okay, well, that's not gonna do it. Uh. How would I reach that anyway? So I'd have to go to the left to get to that chest then, back down there. Alright, so push this out of the way and then go left instead. So reset time. It's like rewind time, except less Will Smith. I can't believe I even know what that is. There are no enemies in the puzzle rooms here? Oh, that's kind of nice. In exchange, every door hides a fucking boss fight. I'm actually okay with that, honestly. Like. I feel like if I was doing encounters while doing this, it would feel annoying more than anything, but if there's no encounters and in an exchange it's just like you know when to expect a boss fight, it's like every time you open a door. I, yeah, I'm kind of okay with that, honestly. And there's a hard nut for defense boost. Now the real question's gonna be, how the hell do I get to the other side here? Because these are misaligned. I'd have to move that pillar to do that, but I'm not sure if I can, unless I can, like, push it off the cliff. I guess I could try that, but I don't know if you can do that. I can use that hard nut while I'm thinking about it, actually. I can give this regular one over to Garrett. There we go. Uh, boosts defense. Let's see. You've got 245 defense now. You've got even more defense than Isaac and Garrett do. That's impressive, actually. Uh, that probably means that Isaac is gonna get, uh, isn't gonna have as much defense because he'll get some from his, well, no, he'll get some from his armor and then it'll boost it because you get a percentage of your stats boosted by the class, so. Garrett will get some more when he gets his class changed, so. I'll give it to Isaac, why not? Just to give him a little extra boost for now, because he's going to be the one that's going to have the least amount of armor for a little while, since we've got to get him uh, all the way to the final dungeon to do that one. So, Also, if you don't win Colosso and get the Cloak Ball, you miss out on Limpa Fortress and the latter half of Crossbone Isle. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of goodies to miss out on, unfortunately. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, I don't know if we can do this then. No, that's not reveal. I should stick reveal on. Hold on. I was gonna say, I don't know if we can do this unless there's like a secret platform or something that I just can't see. No. Hmm. I mean, obviously it's possible, I'm just not seeing how at the moment. So, I definitely have to move this though. I think I moved it the wrong way though. I think we have to go the other way. Well, no, I guess I can go th that way by going like this. Um... So if I move this this way, I can get there a little bit faster. I can go here, 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 and here. Can I push this off? No. I turn around so I can do it from here. Yes. Okay, so we can just do it like that. Alright. Now I just need to get back. <laughs> uh, it's not this way. It's this way. There we go. Down and all the way around. Okay. Go here. 
And now we can move this the proper direction, which is over here, so we can get to the other side. Fair enough. I wonder if I should save just in anticipation of another door. Well, this door didn't give us a boss fight, so there is a mimic here, though. All right, then. We can handle that. Uh, eruption? Sure, why not? Because I, I seem to be getting back a bunch of synergy points just by walking around in the puzzle rooms, so... Or maybe not, because I don't think Garrett got back any synergy points there. Oh well, Astro Blast anyway, why not? Just so we can see it again, because I haven't seen it in 40 years. It's not that effective on him. Yeah, fire is the most effective thing on these guys, but that's okay. And I'll just keep attacking, honestly. It's fine. We'll get him. There you go. Must have been an easier mimic because that one didn't really have a whole lot of uh, a whole lot in the way of HP. Probably because you can come here like you know earlier. So all right, and then you can push that to continue. Okay. But basically, you push them, and then you can come back at any time, and you can keep going. I should save before I hit the A button there, just in case these bosses kick my ass. You never know. So let's see. Uh, two Grizzlies and a Succubus. Okay, fair enough. Um, honestly, I kind of like the strat that we used last time to just blast these guys, although I don't know if I'm going to use Mother... Well, it's only 17, I suppose, so it's fine. And then, yeah, just do this over and over again, and eventually we'll get them all. Except the Succubus, because she's probably the boss of the uh, encounter. That does pretty good damage, all things considered. So does that, actually. That's because they're all weak to it, so... Okay, they lived an entire round of that, and that one got an attack raise. Five damage! Okay, never mind, this is cake. <laughs> they're just fat, that's all. <laughs> um, do I even want to wish? I kind of don't, honestly. I kind of just want to do the same thing again, all things considered. Like, I guess I can use Gaia instead of Mother Gaia. Okay, so the same animation, just less damage. That's fair. I was going to say, I can't believe we haven't gotten any of them yet, but we did. We just got most of them. This one seems to be hanging on, though. Oh no, 13 damage. Whatever shall I do? Oh wow, and we even leveled up as well. Isaac's level 26, he got Potent Cure, which I would imagine is a decent upgrade over Cure Well. We're gonna find out. Uh, who's got the uh, potions anyway? Probably Mia, right? Yeah, she's collecting them up for herself right at the moment. That's fine. I hope we don't, like, run out of inventory space at some point in the dungeon, though. That would kind of suck. Restore 300 HP for 10 uh, synergy points. That's not too bad. I know it's for a single character only, but sure. That works. Okay, we're rolling some pillars here. We've also got elixirs. I might, like, trash the antidotes and elixirs eventually if, like, we're not getting... If, because I want to, like, save room for the good stuff, you know? And I don't actually know what happens if you open up a chest and you have no room in your inventory. Like, I don't want it to be a situation where it, like, it, like, gets rid of the item in the chest or something because I can't carry it, so it just destroys the item forever. That would be really unfortunate, so. Some Lucky Pepper! I should probably give that to... I think Isaac didn't get one last time, so. Let's check that out. Uh, you're good on luck for a while there, <laughs> Mia. <laughs> Uh, Garrett has five. He'll probably get up to six when he gets his class change, and Ivan's got 13, so I'll give it to Isaac and get his luck to eight. That's fine. Not that the, you know, statuses have really been a huge deal for us, all things considered, but, well, you know. Alright, so what good does that do me now? I guess I can push this up now, 
because that one's out of the way. Yeah. And then that's out of the way too, so now I can push this one to the right and move on. Nice and easy. In here, a mystery blade. Wonder if that's better than the assassin's blade. Let's find out. Unleashes life nourish. It probably gives me back HP. 84, I don't know if that's better. Yeah, it's slightly worse, excuse me. Well, that's okay. Um, I'll give it to Ivan. No, don't equip it. I probably shouldn't have sorted, it's okay. And uh, yeah, we'll just try to like balance our inventory a little bit and then we'll get rid of the stuff that's the least useful uh, the further along we go. No mimic this time. All right, fair enough. Let's do one more floor and then we'll call it a day. How about that? And then we'll do the rest uh, next time. Because I don't know how big this place is, but I guess we'll go as far as we can, right? With a lich and some fiendish ghouls. All right, cool. Take care of them. Uh, yeah, I'm going to eruption turn one. And... Uh, Honestly, I think I'm just gonna Ragnarok the Lich. Like, we'll just spread the damage out with everybody else. And, uh, or maybe I should protect in high impact, actually. Like, these battles are probably gonna start getting a little tougher, so maybe it's better to just, like, you know, actually help myself out. <laughs> you both love and hate this place. Can't wait till you think it's the next boss. Oh, boy. Still don't know how that didn't hit the enemies around the Lich, but... Well, we shall see where this takes us. Oh, bind. Oh no, not on Garrett. He has the lowest luck and he still didn't get hit by it. That's funny. Okay, never mind. I don't think I need to bother with the the buffing because they're still dealing like two and three damage to me. <laughs> Let me see if I can drown one of them. That'd be kind of morbid, but also kind of funny, I guess. Evil. Eh, I'm okay with it. We'll just use our physical attacks so that we can, uh... Do that. Okay. Yeah, we'll just use our physical attacks so we can start recovering our synergy points a little bit. Because it doesn't look like we're recovering them in the puzzle rooms, so... Might end up using some Psy Crystals here. That's okay, though. Man, we still haven't gotten them. Oh, okay, well, bye. <laughs> that will work. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna use a Wish. I don't think we're gonna need it, but... Like, because this battle will be over before, yeah. Before we uh, need it, but you know. Hey, there's a side crystal in case we need that. Thank you for confirming for you. The upper parts are definitely scaled for people who were on the ship. Yeah, it seems that way to me, honestly. Just judging by the, the way that I've been killing them so dead. But I've got mostly end game equipment now, so that's probably why I'm killing them so dead. So. I mean, we're still doing pretty okay on our synergy. It's not that bad at the moment. And yeah, if I just use physical attacks on those guys for now, it should make things a little easier. Um, is that a catch? Hold on. Yeah. Because it looked like a key, so I was like, okay, the last key that we got, we pulled through a door, so let me see if I can catch this one. And yes, in fact, you can. So that is that is good. I need to get to the correct spot for this one, though. I don't know where the correct spot would be. I mean, I guess I might be able to do it from here. I don't know where Catch's range is, so... It's not there. It's probably from that one, actually. So, like, we go here and here, and then you use it. Because it's on target with it. Yeah. Okay. What do these blue keys do? Who knows? I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Hold on, my brain is working, I think. My brain is working! Yes, it is working. There's a... There's a thing over there. I don't think I can get it from here, though, can I? Because I'm not, like... 
not like even with it, you know? So I gotta find a way to get there and get even with it. Okay, I can catch this one. Uh, was I just not in the right spot? I might not have walked forward enough. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're getting a whole bunch of blue keys out of the matter anyway. So. They really were grasping at how to make catch useful. <laughs> I mean, I guess this works, it's just, you know, I guess it would be better if it, uh, yeah, I don't know what they could use to make it better, honestly, all things considered. Did I get all the blue keys? I don't think I did, oh, okay, I opened one of the doors. Well, let's get the treasure in it anyway, since I opened one of the doors. A cookie! Mia's inventory is full, that's why Isaac got that cookie. Oh, the keys are filling up the inventory, okay. I think I'm actually going to give this one to Isaac since he's got the lowest synergy points now. Like, Mia doesn't really need them as badly anymore because she's got 203. So, uh, Isaac, have a cookie, finally. There you go. Yeah, put the cookie down. <laughs> you got cookie! Oh, I, I, know, I noticed that Sesame Street reference. Don't you think I didn't? A smoke bomb. Yeah, that's great. We're going to get rid of that pretty quickly as well. I think I'm missing one key, so we'll, uh, we'll get that in a second. A fairy ring! Well, another ring, I suppose. Now I just need to figure out how to get to that other key. A uh, fairy ring does what? Acts like an elixir in battle. Yeah, it's going right in the trash pile. <laughs> I mean, it's fine, I guess, but... Eh. You know, I guess we could do this to get the red key. We can go here... And then we can reveal, and that'll open up that section, and then we can catch it, and I'm e even with it, so it should grab it. Or not. Well, that's, uh, that's all I had, so... I'll have to find another way. Or did I get all the blue keys? Hang on. I might have gotten all the blue keys. No, I'm still missing one. Where was the one that I missed, then? Oh, it's down there. Okay. So I have to get back down there to get that one? No, I think I can get to it from here. Hang on, if I go here. Or the range of it is going to disappoint me again, like it did with the red key. Nope, that worked. Okay, good. Fucker, you're trying to see if I wouldn't get that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I got that, though, because, like, I... I couldn't get it, unless, again, it might have been that I just wasn't on the platform correctly and I just didn't do it right. I'm going to try it again just to see. 333 coins this time. Cool. So let's go here. I'm going to push myself all the way down. Reveal. And then uh, I'll try it again. And then if it doesn't work, I'll try to go to the bottom. Okay, it worked this time. I just wasn't on center. Fair enough. There's the Red King. Oh, the Oscar the Grouch reference, yeah. Yeah, no, I've watched a little Sesame Street in my day. I distinctly recall that. You could probably put me in front of the holiday special once and I'd, like, have a fucking nostalgia trip from it. Probably be able to recite most of it from memory considering how many times we watched that damn movie when I was over at my grandma's house on Christmas, so. Actually, we might be getting synergy points back because we've got quite a few now. Hmm. Maybe there's like a percentage chance that you get some back, like each time you're walking around. I don't know. Well, anyway, moving right along. Uh, do we fight this boss, or do we leave? And by leave, I mean start our uh, little countdown towards the next episode of Golden Sun, the Stream Edition, which will be happening. Uh, tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So yes, I'm going to, unfortunately, cliffhang on a boss. Apologies, but... Uh, yeah, we'll come back and we'll explore the, as much of the rest of the cave as we can. See where we hit a brick wall in terms of the enemies. And, uh, well, if we hit a brick wall, then we'll go back out and we'll go through the final dungeon. And then maybe, uh, I don't know, I'll figure out if I want to come back to it or not after that. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll end off here. And... Uh, We'll be back tomorrow to continue exploring Crossbone Isle. I do have two Jenny left to find. I'm actually almost done, I think. 
I just don't know where the last couple of them are. They might be in the final dungeon, they might not, we'll see. It's a flat and consistent rate, okay, then maybe I just wasn't paying attention, fair enough. So thank you for watching everybody, I appreciate you coming out to Twitch and YouTube to check out the stream, happy Halloween to everyone. And I will see all of you on the next stream, which will be tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Until then, everybody, take care and have a good one. Well, I was going to say, and now I have a gray hood, but unfortunately the, the lighting in here isn't really helping all that much with uh, seeing me. I can see all of you, though. <laughs>